Hey everybody, and welcome to Playtendo Guy, Jim Jam, and Andy Goes Live with our special guest, Jordan from Movie Worm. Welcome to the show, Hello. Jordan. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for having me, Peter. <laughs> That's no problem. I really want to been getting you on for the past couple of weeks and so glad we're finally met. So yeah, it's a blast. Yeah. Um so yeah. Uh what was the last film you watched anyway? Uh, me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me. Um I watched Pride last night because I've had it on Blu-ray for a while and my dad said it's a really good film, you should watch it, like a good British movie. And he was right. Every time my dad recommends a film. Sorry? Yeah. Is that the one about the miners? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah true yeah. story and stuff, yeah. Really enjoyed it. Good, good true story. Worth a watch, definitely. It's got a good cast as well that has. Top yeah, cast. it's got the guy from uh, 1917 and I forgot his name, but Paddy Considine. George and McKay. George, George, McKay. George McKay, yeah. That's yeah. It. Yeah, man. That's yeah. Really good movie. Really recommend it. Some funny moments as well. So, yeah. And, um, uh, I've watched a few films that this month, but that was the last one I watched. So, yeah. Nice. What about you, James? Oh, I've not really watched much lately because I've like had a busy, busy weekend and been busy the past couple of days. So I'm not really uh, sat down and watched anything really. But didn't yeah. you go to a music festival or something? Well, so on 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 the Saturday, I had my daughter's um, birthday party in the day. Then two hours after, we had to get to this Battle Proms concert for a surprise for my mother-in-law's 60th. So we'd done that, and we got back really late. And the following day, we went to a tribute festival for the day. Nice. So we was there literally all day. So, yeah, it's very it's really fun and busy weekend, then. Yeah, the weather, the weather was nice as well. It didn't rain once. So, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it rained over here. It's Did it? Over here. Oh, How about yeah. you, Andy? What was the last film you watched? Um... I went to see Suicide Squad last night. Oh, did you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, nice. I, I thought it was it was good. So what it was, uh, I know a lot of people have been like really loving it, but um, oh, there seems yeah, to be I, a lot of mixed reaction on it, don't there? Yeah, mm. yeah. I I I thought it was good. It's it's night and day compared to the twenty sixteen one, the original. Um, so I really yeah. can't stand that film. I find it's such a struggle to sit through. But yeah, this new one was just. Lisa Bounds better. Nice. And the last film I watched was the Super Mario Brothers movie. Wow. Oh, man. That is <laughs> awful. That was horrendous. Wow. I sat for it, and I wish I never did. I wasted nearly two hours of my life on that film. Dreadful. That's the first time you sat for it, Peter? Yep. Yep. I'm a big Mario Brothers fan, and oh, my God. Oh, I'm so glad I watched it through Prime and didn't actually buy the Blu-ray. It was dreadful. It makes the Resident Evil films look like Citizen Kane. It's that, bad. <laughs> that 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 film is literally night and day to the game because it's so dark, but the game's so bright. <laughs> I know. It, Bowser, the Goombas, everything. It's nothing hard they do. It's just the names that are similar. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> at least I watched it now, so. Now I know yeah. how bad it is, so I won't be buying the Blu-ray. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the comments. Um, and first up, we have The View with Rue. What are your true. top five underrated movies? Mine are The Born Legacy, Transformers Dark of the Moon, The First Maze Runner, The Incredible Hulk, and The Dark Knight Rises. Great question. Um, hmm. I can think of a couple. Uh, the Tintin film from 2011 that was pretty underrated, yeah. As was Treasure Planet, but I can't really think of anything else. Um, what about mm. you guys? Um, do you want me to go first? <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Um, I always go with the movie called Frailty with Matthew McConaughey in It's one of my favorite movies of all time, I love it to death. Solid nine out of ten film that no one talks about. Um, a couple of I'm just getting these at the top of my head, but I think Oculus is a good horror movie that's kind of underrated about a cursed mirror. Um, what else we've got? I always mention this one on my stream, but Bully by Larry Clark is a really good true story, really gritty, dark movie. Um, 
I think Sin City 2 is kind of underrated because no one went to see that at the box office. I think it's a good sequel, not as good as the first, but a decent sequel. And I'm just trying to think of a fifth one. <laughs> um, <laughs> the Woman is the first one that comes to the top of my head. I think Addo released it on Blu-ray. Quite a good film. So, Oh, well, I've got one. Hell House LLC. That is my one of my most underrated films. It's a found footage horror movie. In 2016, really creepy, really recommended. So. Nice. What about you, Andy? Um, I'll probably say Simple Plan by Sam Raimi. Um, it's got Bill Paxton and Billy Bob Thornton in it, and they play like two brothers that find this crashed plane, and it's they find a bag with like three million dollars in it, and it's like shit. What do we do with it? And then um, it just kind of like paranoia escalates between them and they just like they like can't cope they can't figure out what to do it's it's such a brilliant film it's probably my favorite Sam Raimi film um what else there's a film I, I ask a lot of people about called Talk Radio which I absolutely love um it's very much about this this radio presenter he's like really controversial and his show's about to go national across the states because he does like it's, it's like pretty small is like his radio station that he has first off but he like pisses people off with his comments and stuff and he's like he's not a very likable character in the film but it's so interesting to watch and it's like one of the best performances i've ever seen ever in a film um i'd have to say stay tuned as well with john ritter that is like it's like a guy who's like watching tv but he gets sucked into like hell versions of different tv shows and like yes they're like he goes on one where there's like a zombie version of Wayne and Garth from Wayne's World. It's called Wayne's Underworld. And like all the all the audience are zombies. It's like so much fun. It's just absolutely insane. Um, Clean and Sober with Michael Keaton and Morgan Freeman. I absolutely love it. It's such a dark film. That's the film for me that got Michael Keaton the role as Batman without a shadow of a doubt because this is like his first dramatic role. Um, and I'd have to say there's a movie from the 80s called Heaven Help Us in the US, but in the UK it's called Catholic Boys. And it's about sort of five students that like get up to no good at this really strict Catholic school. And the end into it's absolutely so good because one of the one of the monks teaches at this school just starts beating them with his belt. And one of them like stands up to him and like punches him in front of the, the whole school and everyone cheers. It's just mm-hmm. so fun. Yeah. They're, my, they're mine anyway. I haven't seen any of them. I'll have to write them ones down. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That yeah. simple plan sounds really good, though. Oh, it's so, it's so good. Um, it needs a Blu-ray release, but that's like the cover for it. Nice. Mm. Um, Bill Paxton, can't go wrong. Yeah. Uh, I can only think of two. I can only think of two. One of them's a Disney as well. I think, um, yeah. is it Zootropolis? I think that's pretty underrated, isn't it? Compared yeah. to some of the other big Disneys. Mm. Um, I think I think that, and maybe um, a film called Control about the yeah. uh, story yeah. of um, Ian Ian Curtis. Joy Division. Joy yeah. Division. Yeah, that I really enjoyed that one, but I, that that's not one that's really talked about that much. I don't think. No. Is that the one that uh, William Barnett talks about a lot? He did. He did. He went to the grave. He went to Ian Curtis's actual grave. Yeah. Because it yeah. isn't too far away from where he lives, is it? That's right. That's right. Yeah. But yeah, I can only think of two. <laughs> Toby Campbell's in that as well. Yeah. Nice. We've also yeah. got Jules here. She's waiting to come on. Okay. Yep, oh, here. wow. <laughs> so here she is. Here's Jules. Yes. Here we go. Should be here. I did oh. invite her. You pressed the button, Jules. <laughs> I did press add stream, but oh, she's back again. Okay. Here we go. Add stream. Here she is. Hello, go. Jules. Hello, everyone. How is everyone Hello. this evening? Hello. Here we are. Wow. How's everyone doing? Not All good. All good. Yeah. 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 yeah, I watched um, Aftermath to Die. Nice. Very strange film. Why can I only see a small version of it? What do I need to turn my camera around? Probably. Um. Yeah, you can. Oh, um, that's it. That's better. That's it. That's it. 
Now you, you your audio is gone, Jules. <laughs> yeah, we can't hear you, Jules. Where's me audio? How do I do yeah, it? Yeah, okay, though. Oh, you're right, you're right. You're right. Oh, is that better? Yep, that's fine. Yep. Oh, it's gone again. <laughs> yeah. it's gone again. The voice is gone again, Jules. Can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 That's perfect. Yeah. Are you sure you can hear me? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to yeah. shout too loud. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So, what kind of weekend has everyone had? Uh, he's busy, busy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, been out and about. Yeah, uh, and, my best full of hangovers. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, was you, was you drunk the weekend? On Friday, I was, yeah. <laughs> I had to go to the live stream with Leon on Saturday, and I was just like, oh my god, I've got no energy here. <laughs> you were on for like three hours, weren't you, with Leon? Yeah, yeah, I actually felt better after about half an hour, so it was all right. <laughs> well, we me, didn't me, me, me and Dudley had a big chat, didn't we, Dudley? We did. Sun, Sunday night, we was on for like three hours, come on at half nine, we went off just after half twelve, weren't it? Twelve half nine. <laughs> Quarter past one. Quarter past one? Oh, was it? Oh. I lost track of time. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got your pen and paper ready, Jules? Yes. And I'm absolutely dreading it because I never get any right, and there's me telling the truth. <laughs> Jules, it's the taking part. I say every week it's the taking part. Just have a guess. Yeah. It's fine. It's all about the fun at the end of the day. It's all about the yeah. fun. Can you tell me that it's not all the, all the never ending story questions? Cause... Yeah, I've got 20 questions on never ending story. I physically can't I'm cope. Out. It, can <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh. Well, then, when are we are we still looking for the comments or are we? Yeah, we're still going yeah. through the comments. We've only just started comments. Yeah. What sort of what films do you think are underrated, Jules? Um, Eden Lake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should have said yeah. that, Jules. Very good, so, film. very good film. Very <laughs> Um. Also, um, what? Dudley hasn't seen Breaking Glass. Yeah, I've not seen that one. I think I've heard of it, yeah. I think that's been in town. Um, is very well known, so I can't really say Quadrophenia. I would say Scrubbers with Kathy Birkin. Never heard of that. Never heard of it. It's the, all about the, the, the prison. You know there was Scum? Well, Scrub, Scrubbers is a female version. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, I think so anyway. Yeah. So I'd say probably Eden Lake, Breaking Glass, and that one that I said, Scrub as it was called. And I can't think of any more. Has anybody else answered? Yeah, we've all yeah. answered, Jules. <laughs> we've all answered. So uh, that's some great choices there, Jules. Yeah. So anyway. Next comment is from Richard, Fantastic Dizzy. Good evening, Playtendo guy, and good evening, everyone. How are you all doing? Not too bad, yeah. Richard. Thanks yeah, for joining us once again. Hey, Pete. Lee never called you playing Nando guy. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm surprised <laughs> I have the head already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, so. We have uh, Ryan of Beard House Movies here. He's recently started up. He's got a great little channel. He did his first Blu-ray hunt at the weekend, and it was very good. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. Yeah. Hello, Ryan. Ryan's a great guy. Um, he's coming on next week with uh, Peter Blu-ray Bullet Brit, so that should be fun. Oh, um, oh I'll pick them on way to come on. Mind you, I won't be able to talk to him anyway. He's one of my idols. <laughs> Um, another great new channel is AJ's Movie Corner, uh, Movie Place. Evening all. Hi, mate. Hope, hope you're doing well. Yeah. I'm trying to get him on the stream in September. He's a great channel. Um, next up, we've got Edward Coppock. Evening all. How are we doing this evening? Mm. Not too bad. Yeah, all good. Uh, Matt 
Harwoods here. Hi, guys. Hope you're all doing well. Do any of you know if In the Heights is getting a steelbook release? Is that that musical one that a lot of people have been talking about? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It seems to be getting a, quite a lot of rave reviews, but I've never seen no steelbook for it yet. What about you guys? No. I'm not sure, mate, to be honest. I haven't even seen the movie. It's one of the very few films that I haven't gotten to cinema to see this year because I'm just not a massive fan of musicals. But I've, a lot of the talk made me want to go and watch it in the end, but I just missed out. So I don't know about the steelbook, though. Uh, uh, AJ Movies Place says, Unknown, but I'm hoping for Wuala 4K Steelbook, considering it, it's out on the 16th. Yeah, because it's out next week. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Like Mulan, it's just dropped. And apparently Black Widow comes out on the 14th of September as well. So not too long to wait for either. So I must mm. admit... You got quiet really again, good. Jules. You, you I've still never seen Koala. You haven't seen you it haven't yet? haven't seen it yet. No. Oh, no. Oh, you're no. You're uh, we've got James' Echo again. <laughs> yeah, we've got I'm the back. Echo again, Jules. <laughs> no, I've never seen it, Kerala. No. Nope. Did you get that? Yeah, yeah I've seen yeah. it. It's pretty good. And uh, you did a review, didn't you, Jordan? Yeah, I reviewed it, mate. Yeah. One of my favourite films of the year, <laughs> to be honest. It's, it's probably the biggest surprise in a very long while. I wasn't expecting much. And it was a really enjoyable film. Emma Stone yeah. was great. In it. Yeah. So was Edward Thompson, to be honest. They were both great. Yeah. Mm, yeah, definitely. Somebody said they're doing a sequel. I can I can see that they will because it it might just be a full on Cruella, but I don't know. I hope we get one. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it made plenty of money, Disney's sure to do one. <laughs> yeah. Hiya. We've got Lauren's collector co collections in. Hi, I hope you're yeah. having a nice day. Yeah. Thanks, Lauren. I hope you're doing well too. We have the legend that is Bill 4K Baker. Evening Pete, James, Jordan, and Forgotten World of Movies. Great screen. Hello. Hello, Phil. And Jules. Thanks for joining, Phil. <laughs> um, we've got a newcomer here, Sophie's Retro Revival. Hi, guys. First time. Oh, Hello, we Sophie. know Sophie, don't we? We know Sophie. Yeah. Hi, Sophie. Thanks for joining the stream. I think yeah. she was on Big Polly's uh, like stream this afternoon. I know it's the yeah, she was. Yeah, she oh. was. Yeah. Was she from where you live, is she, James? No, Essex, I think, Colchester. Yeah, yeah. she lives in Essex. Because if you remember, we were talking about Gemma Collins, right? You, you were asking we? if she knew Gemma Collins, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've also got Mark here from Geordie Slasher Gaming. Evening, Pete and lads. Uh, hi, Mark. Hope you're doing well. This guy's got a great channel. Even though he does a lot of gaming, he's got a big passion for horror films and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He's got a fantastic selection of figures. Sounds um, like a good channel. <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. And we've got Bristolian Dave here with All Right Me Babbers. Oh, I absolutely Babbers. love that cat. Oh, oh, that sounds brilliant, Pete. Yeah. Me babas. <laughs> <laughs> Video tasties here. Evening all. Hi, mate. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. We've also got Paul Tams in the chat here. Look at this bunch of handsome dudes. How are we all doing this evening? Question for you you guys. Is there a recent movie you missed at the cinema and you wish you didn't? Ooh. Yeah, in the heights. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that does actually look really good. What about you, James? Yeah, um, I can't think of any. I can't think of any. I kind uh, of wish I went to see Black Widow. I don't really go to the cinema at all. I haven't been since 2004, 2005. But, yeah, what about you, Andy? Controversial, but I didn't see Mortal Kombat at the cinema. Didn't you? Yeah. No, no, I just went straight to Blu-ray. Blu-ray, It's a great, fun film. I really enjoyed it. What about you, Jules? I would have loved to have seen Cruella at the cinema. Even though I haven't watched it, I just think it would have looked better in a big screen. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> 
Right. Um, Mark Backing says, oh, what were you saying? Oh. Who, me? Yeah, I thought somebody was saying something. <laughs> no, I just said good answer by, by Jules. That was it. Uh, <laughs> um, let me turn the light on. I can't see. Uh, Mark's here and he says, talking about the Mario film, how bad was it and did you guys enjoy the Sonic one? The Mario film is awful. I really wish I never saw it now. That's so bad. <laughs> Bob Hoskins and um, the guy who played Bowser were probably the only decent things in it. And there was also a song at the end by Roxette. But apart from that, it was trash. Oh, man, I hated it. But the Sonic <laughs> film was a blast. I really enjoyed that. And Jim Carrey did well in that film. What about you guys? Yeah, I really like the Sonic film, to be honest. Um, I can't wait for the, the next one because it's apparently it's gonna have tails and stuff in, so that'll be good. <laughs> and knuckles, yeah. tails and knuckles, yeah, that'll be good. And that's coming out early next year. Mm. Jim Carrey's greater as well. He's back to his best, his best comedy. You know yeah. what he used to do best. So yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Perfect. He's perfect. It's Doctor Robotnik. Yeah, there's some feedback going on, isn't there? There's some kind of feedback. I think it's coming. Yeah, I'm here. Hold on. You got the telly on, Jules? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually watching this live. Oh, I'm okay. No, <laughs> no, I'm watching nothing. There's no sound. So. Okay. Yeah, it's That's all better now. <laughs> That's yeah. it. There we go. So did you see the Sonic film, um, James? Yeah, yeah, I saw it during lockdown, actually. I remember getting it off Skype when, when it was locked down. It was really good. Hmm. I enjoyed it. Did you see the Super Mario Brothers film? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. I don't think I will now, to be honest. No, don't Since, bother. Uh, don't bother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you, Andy? Have you seen either of the films? Yeah, I, I own both of them. Oh, yeah, my sympathy for the Super Mario Brothers film. Yeah. Oh, man, I don't think I could ever own it. <laughs> yeah, I, I own both of them. Sonic was the last film I saw at the cinema before we went to lockdown the first time. Um, but, yeah, I enjoy Sonic and... I have a soft spot for Super Mario Brothers. I know a lot of people <laughs> do I... have a lot of soft spot for that film um, because I suppose well, yeah, they were great. It's not a good film. It's not a good no, film. No, no, it really is. But um, Sonic is. I, I, I do enjoy that one. Yeah. I think Sonic surprised a lot of people because after all the CGI stuff, they were worried yeah. it weren't going to be that good. But thankfully, they delayed it and improved the Sonic model, and it was a really fun film. Mm. What about you, yeah. Jules? <laughs> Can't hear you, Jules. It's not my type of film. Okay. No. Okay. No. no. Right, we've got Long's collections back, and she says Oculus is so underrated. Yeah, I haven't heard of it. Yeah, um, it's by the guy who directed Doctor Who. Nice. Probably another one to add. The film hey Peter, there's a, there's a lot of the like, background noise, you know, especially on ice feet. Yeah, there is. Um, is it coming from Jules? Jules, have you got your laptop on watching it, Jules? No. No. Have you tried putting some headphones into your phone or whatever you get to Jules? It might be me, I'll come off. Hello. Hello. Is everybody here? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. can't hear that noise now. No, I can't hear it at all. It must have been on Jules' side. Yeah. I don't know where she's gone now. <laughs> She'll come back. She'll be back. Yeah. So anyway, so what is Oculus about? Um, one second. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've seen that cover. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's oh yeah. About, I have seen a bit. Yeah. It's about this mirror that's like years old, and everywhere it goes, people like die in the house wherever the mirror goes. So it's like a cursed mirror, basically. But it's a really, really dark movie, and I'm not a big, massive fan of Mike Flanagan. To be honest, I think he's very hit and miss. But I think this is his best movie, to be honest, in my opinion. That sounds very interesting. Another one I've got to look out for. I'm slowly getting into horror now. Uh, Jason's given me the first Halloween coming in the post. I've never seen it. Yeah, 
Oh, I mean, you'll love that film. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and I've just had the Evil Dead trilogy come delivered from Amazon tonight, so that's something to look forward to. Yeah. I've never seen them yeah. either. <laughs> but yeah. The View with Drew says, what's a superhero casting choice that you don't think is as bad as people say? I think Ben Affleck as Daredevil wasn't that bad. I haven't seen the Daredevil film. I might have seen bits when I was younger, but I can't really remember much about it. Wasn't there an Electra film? Yeah. yeah. Electra's in the Daredevil movie as well. <laughs> oh, is she? I gather yeah. Electra wasn't very good. Um, I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's terrible. So I don't know. <laughs> Daredevil, for me, wasn't amazing anyway. It was, the first hour was good. So uh, I don't know if it, like, I know it's in the same universe and stuff, but I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. So, so what is a superhero casting choice that you think is not as bad as what people say? Has anybody got any? Um, um, yeah. I don't know. I would um, say probably. Oh, go on, go on, Pete. Go on. I'd probably say Ben Affleck as Batman. I really do like him. I know a lot of people were saying they weren't that keen on him, but I thought it was great. I kind of preferred him more than um. What's his name in the Dark Knight trilogy, to be honest? Christian Bale. Christian Bale. I've, I've really quite liked him. Especially in I, I, the Justice League Syndicate, Snyder Cut. I actually prefer Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck to Christian Bale, to be honest. Mm. I, I do like Christian Bale, but it's just... It's, it's just a voice sometimes really does like, go through it me and stuff. Like he's a very good Bruce Wayne, though. What was that, Peter? Sorry. So- it sounds like his voice is like smoking 20 odd packs a day on Batman. Yeah. It, it really doesn't suit it. And it takes yeah. away from the dark grittiness of the film, I think. I mean, yeah. if Ben Affleck's an answer, I'll go with you, Peter. I, I, I think Ben Affleck's great. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Andy? <coughs> oh, God. Um, I've got one, but I think you're going you're gonna to absolutely hate me for this. Go now, on, it's kind of like a half answer. But I actually don't mind George Clooney as Bruce Wayne. I knew he was going to say that. (laughs) (laughs) He's not a good Batman, but he's a good Bruce Wayne, in my opinion. Yeah, Yeah. fair point. I can see that, Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't mind Jared Leto as the Joker bit in the Suicide Squad film. It wasn't bad as what many people will make now, to be honest. But Mm. what about you, James? Uh, I'm not sure, really. I'll probably go with you, Ben Affleck. I think, yeah. yeah. But did you know? Not, um, did you? I was just as an aside. Does everyone know that um, Justice League's on special on Amazon today? Seven, seven quid. quid seven quid on Blu-ray. That's oh, good just, I've just bought it on four K as well. Have you really? <laughs> oh, God. Well, my dad got me it for my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good deal. I thought. Yeah, man, seven hmm, quid. That is very good because that was about twelve quid last week, I think, or ten quid. So it was 10 again. quid, yeah. That's dropped uh, really quickly, actually. Hey, yeah. uh, by the way, Peter, I know it's a superhero answer, but I know he's a villain, but I don't think Jamie Foxx's Electro was as bad as people say. I, I think he was quite good, actually. <laughs> yeah, I quite liked him. In the amazing cool. Spider-Man 2, he was all right. Mm. I think a lot of people are a bit too harsh on that film. Yeah, mm. I watched it last month and I really enjoyed it. I don't get the heat mm. at all. Yeah, it's definitely a fun film. There's problems there, definitely, but yeah, I think okay. Andrew Garfield was a pretty decent Spider-Man. <clears throat> yeah. AJ Movie Place says, underrated Midnight Run with yep, Robert Nathan Hero. Yeah. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of it. <laughs> that is a film yeah. that I have wanted to see for so long. I need to hurry up and watch that movie, because everyone it's loves so it. Good. It's so good. <laughs> I love that film. I think I've seen it in my local Sainsbury's for like seven quid on Blu-ray. I might have to pick it up now. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen it, James? I haven't, no. I haven't. It sounds interesting, though. Yeah, it does. Uh, Paul is back and he said, Super Mario Brothers is a terrible movie, but there is a song by Roxette called Almost Unreal, which is a banger of a tune. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's probably is the only good thing about the film. <laughs> I can't remember that song at all. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, so I can't the ending credits, I think. I should know because I watched it last night. 
Sophie's Retro Revival said, that stream was so fun. Do any of you guys like pizza? Aha. Oh, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's oh. a joke what we had on the stream the other night on Sunday. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah. I like pizza. There you go. <laughs> this yeah, is something do. different than cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the view withdrew. Which movie do you think is worse? Uh, Colin Powell as Bullseye, Wes Bentley as Blackheart, or Gillian Muck as Doctor Doom. McMoon. McMoon. Oh. Is this Colin Powell as Wes Bullseye is in Daredevil, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Doctor sure. Doom from the one in uh, the two thousand and five one? Doctor, which yeah. one? Uh, Doctor Doom, Fantastic Four. Is that the first two ones? Or oh, Chris Evans. Yeah. yeah. One with Chris Evans, yeah. I don't know Black Heart is. No, I've is that, know that, is that Ghost Rider? Is it? I think West, because West Bentley's it. Uh, is he the guy that's in The Hunger Games and American Beauty? I think he plays the, the villain in Ghost Rider as well. I think I've seen Ghost Rider before. I have seen Ghost Rider, but it's been a while. Yeah. I can't remember that name, Blackheart, but I've definitely heard of Bullseye and Doctor um, Doom. I don't know who's worse. I, mean, I can well, only but... comment on Colin Farrell and, and Julian McMahon because I can't remember Blackheart. Yeah. I'd, I'd, oh, I'd probably say Doctor Doom, but I didn't dislike them. I'll to them too. Yeah, I'm probably going to say the same because it's the only yeah. one I've seen. Yeah, I'm not sure. But yeah. Uh, AJ says Wes Bentley. Wes Bentley. Inca Man Platoon. Oh, man. I, <laughs> what a name. I love Eden Lake. Jack O'Connell is a friend of mine. Yeah, he's oh. been in some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's a brilliant film, though. I haven't I seen it. Have you seen, um, have you seen 1971? No, I haven't, James. Sorry. Nah, he's good. It's good in that. Is that the, the Irish one? Yes, yes, that's right, Andy. Yeah, it's the yeah, Irish I've seen one. That. Yeah, and he, he was in the first. This is England film as well. Yeah, he was never yeah. in the sequels. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he was, he was, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Pukey. Do you know anything? I think his character was called, didn't he? Yeah, I, mean, I, I guess he gets three off the card, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Edward says, what was the movie that traumatised you most as a child? I'm going to say E.T. I was you know terrified what? of him as a kid. I, I was about to say that as well. That was my answer. That was my answer as well. It wasn't never any story. It was E.T. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, my dad's friend had an E.T. doll in his like living room, and I would never go in there until they took the E.T. doll away. I was petrified of that thing. I don't know why. But I did watch the film when I was like 10 or 11 and I enjoyed it and that's about it. But it's a bit of a strange what, one. What was the scene that scared you the most when he come out of the bushes? That always used to get me. when he. No, I'd never he seen uh, yeah, 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 until I was um, 10. I just didn't like the look of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What about you, Andy? Uh, Dawn of the Dead. I saw it when I was seven. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I still, I still have difficulty watching it even now. Um, yeah. It's such a great film. I, I really do love it. But it, when you're growing up on Disney and then you go to that, it's like, fuck. Um, <laughs> it's good. It's because I was expecting the movie to have like a happy ending, and it just doesn't. I was like, is that it? I was like, I was like yeah. I was like, fuck it out. I kept me up for like two weeks thinking about it. So, yeah, probably that. What about you, Jordan? I've got a few, mate, but I'm trying to go back to the earliest of my years. I, was, I think I was about eight and I snuck next door to this girl's house who was, like, my friend, and she had Friday the 13th. And I laugh at it now. It's laughable, but I hadn't seen anything like that before, and I was... I, I had to keep telling her to pause the movie because I just... I needed a breather and stuff. I thought like Jason or the killer or whoever was gonna just come through the kitchen or something. <laughs> like I was just like <laughs> I didn't like all the first person view and stuff. It was weird to me. So probably that. <laughs> That's amazing. Um 
Ryan, we've got, says, just released two reviews of The Witch and the underrated Schwarzenegger film, um, Maggie. I've heard a lot of positive mm. things about Maggie. Yeah. Is that, the, is that the one about uh, his daughter's a zombie or something? I think it is a horror movie, isn't it? Yeah. I I haven't seen it, but I've heard a lot of positive things. Nevertheless. Yeah, I've, I've got it. Um, I've got it in that set, but I haven't seen it yet. Oh, got that that's yeah. the one that... Um, HMV, it was like a five or something. Yeah, he oh, you said got Maggie and the Witch in there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And Crimson Peak, that's a pretty good film. I think that's about five or six quid in the, you know when HMV done like that bargain thing, the bargain mm. sale. I think it was yeah. from there. I went in mine day and now they've got like a little bargain tray now with like a couple of films for a couple of quid. Most of it was like Paper Towns or Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> yeah. They're never gonna get you rid of paper towns, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I have actually picked it up, but I've never watched it. <laughs> Um, the view with Drew says Hugh Jackman as Wolverine is the best superhero casting choice of all time for me. Yeah, I'd probably agree. Either him or Robert Downey Jr. or Chris Evans as Captain America, I'd say. All three are fantastic choices. What about you guys? I I would personally probably go with Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, but Hugh Jackman is a good shout. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think. My mind's gone blank. Go gonna... on, go on, Andy. Um, it's it's a superhero movie, but it's not a superhero. As J.K. Simmons as J. J. Without what was that, Andy? Sorry. J.K. Simmons as J. J. Jameson. Oh, in the Spider-Man films, J.K. Simmons as uh, J. J. Jameson. Yeah, that's one of the best castings ever. They're not in yeah. film ever. Yeah. ever. He is great, you know. <laughs> It really yeah. is good. What about you, James? I quite like Benedict Cumberbatch as uh, Doctor Strange. I, I, I liked it. I liked yeah. the film. I think that's quite an underrated um, Marvel film. So. You don't see many people talk about that one. Oh, Pete, by the way, all those Marvels went, mate. I went back looking for Avengers for you. They all went. Oh, well, they were an absolute bargain, weren't they? £1.50? fifty. Yeah. One ninety nine. I, uh, I told Jordan the story. I went into British Heart Foundation the other day, and someone just must have donated all their Marvel Blu-rays. There's a big stack right. like that. Did you put it on a big poorly page? I think I see. Oh it. yeah, I did. I think so. Yeah. yeah. And I, I picked up uh, the Spider-Man one in three D. Um, what else no. did I pick? Um, Civil War. I picked that one. Up. I didn't have that one, so I picked that one up. That's great. But, like two quid each. One ninety nine each for. Can't go wrong. Probably... Yeah, can't go wrong. <laughs> I went into the cancer research today and they had Pacific Rim Uprising. Is that the newer one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. That's the second six one. quid pre owned. Your charity shops are the dear people. I know they're absolutely ridiculous. They're off, man. It, but they said apparently that's the price they sell up for on eBay. <laughs> they look at yeah. eBay first. Yeah. They must do. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think the 12 was like four pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're even more expensive than CX. It's unbelievable. Your brother's in the chat, James. Hello, bro. Simon How you doing, bro? <laughs> Hi, Simon. Thanks for joining. <laughs> uh, Ryan says he'd rather throw Super Mario Brothers movie into a carbine. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. man. That's a film I do not want to revisit. <laughs> Jules is here. Hope that is better. You can come back on, Jules, if you want to. Yeah, should we, should we start the quiz in a bit, guys? Or because it's quarter past eight now. Yeah. yeah do you want? Yeah. What time do you want to start at, James? I'm um, easy. Whenever everyone's ready. Do you want to think... start it about now or half past eight? It's up to you. Uh, I'm easy. What everyone else wants to do. I mean, I'm ready whenever. I'm easy. I'm easy. Let's yep. do it now, and if you want, to let's do it. Now, let's Cool. So pen. Pen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. I got it. <laughs> oh. Right. So I've done something a bit different this week, but I'll talk about it when I get to the All second right. round. So I've got 20, 20 questions again. So, right. so the first 10 are just on like general film. All right. All right. So we go with the first one then. Yeah. 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 
Okay. So, A Bronx Tale, 1993, was the directorial debut of which Hollywood star? That is a cracking film, mate. Yeah. Question two. How many days did it take David Niven to go around the world? <laughs> I'm just thinking of Philly as fuck. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Same there. <laughs> Question three. Who starred with Paul Newman in The Sting? Question four. What product making scheme is Tyler Durden involved with in the 1990 film Fight, Fight Club? So what scheme scheme is he involved with? I wrote it down as you were and, uh, given the question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Want to know? <laughs> I'm going to look stupid if I get this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Right, question five. Which actor starred hang on, I can't be more, as Brian in the Mon Monty Python film Life of Brian? Who played Brian? I've never seen this movie, you know, I know I should have. I've seen bits of it. Same here. <laughs> uh... Is this the one with he's the Messiah and he's a very naughty boy? Yeah. <laughs> I've got his name. Oh, man. I... This happens most times on the quiz, Jordan. People, mm. I, I met the questions so people know the names, but it gets them thinking. <laughs> I think I've got a second name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right then, question six. In Hitchcock's 1954 film, Rear Window, why is Jeffries confined in his apartment? Okay. Question seven's a nice, easy question. In the never-ending story... <laughs> that, <laughs> it's only one question. It's one question. In the never-ending story, what type of dragon was Falcor? What type of dragon was he? Another movie I've never seen. I know what your oh, favourite thing is. Going going on. Yeah, I've ask seen a never-ending story three, if that helps. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> With Jack Black in. I don't know. Oh, I was just God. on telly one day. Yeah. That's how I watched it. it was just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is another film I own on DVD as well, though. I own two and three on DVD as well. <laughs> Not one? Yeah. Uh, Blu-ray. First one's on Blu-ray. So, um, oh. Two and three DVDs, yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. question, question eight. What does Ash call his gun in Army of Darkness? I wish that film come yesterday now. <laughs> it would have helped. It would have helped. <laughs> I'm going to go just... <laughs> God, man. Oh. Just, put, just put anything, please. Just put anything. Hey, James, is there any questions on Robocop? <laughs> <laughs> no. I think I might get that one. <laughs> right, question nine. What is the name of the alien invaders in the 2014 film The Edge of Tomorrow? What was the name of the invaders? <laughs> I just haven't seen that. Seen... Another movie seen... I need to see. <laughs> Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Emily Blunt, isn't it? It's a good film. God. Yeah. No, I've not. Half these are guesses. <laughs> That's okay. It's worth, worth a guess. Um, and question 10. Where did Godzilla and the winged Muto first battle in the 2014 film Godzilla? Where was the Hold first battle? I just asked Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Jason. Uh, 
Get him on the phone. So where was the first <laughs> battle? Okay. I think I might I might be right. Okay. Go on, man. Yeah. This week's real bad. Those last so, two are hard. So that was yeah. your first round. So on the second round, you've got something different this week, please. You'll like this. Is it so Doctor Who? <laughs> so it's movie <laughs> anagrams this week. So I'm going to give you an anagram. You've got to write it down and scrabble it out to see if you can get what the film is. Okay. So basically, it's like countdown this week. Yeah, but you, you, I got the countdown clock. You, you can just oh. t- tell me when you're ready. Okay. When you when you think you've got it. All right, then. So you got your pen ready, okay? The first one is the deep red. The deep red. I want to call my mum. She doesn't know how to do this. <laughs> I thought I'd do something different tonight. <laughs> That's a good idea, this is. Deep red. <laughs> we can include in the, in the in the anagram. Yeah, the, yeah. that is included in it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wow. I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's got your brain going, eh, Jord? Got your yeah. brain going. <laughs> oh. This is supposed to be a movie quiz, not eggheads. <laughs> I've mixed it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Deep red. Yeah, just tell me when you're ready and I'll go on to the second one. I'm just going to be looking at this all night. <laughs> yeah, me too, yeah. Oh, man. Now, honestly, they all make, make a film up. They all do make a film up. They're just all jumbled up. Uh, it's going to be one of them when I tell you the answer, you're going to be like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are they popular movies, would you say, or can't you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah they're, they're well known films. I haven't made it. I haven't made it so I'm really like tricky films. They are well known films. All of Can these you tell us a year of them out or something? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Do you want, shall I move on to the second one anyway? Yeah, yeah. 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 So we got Pear. So P A I R. P A I R. Jars. J R J A R S. And then yeah. you got Suck. Then you got S U C K. So Pear, Jars, Suck. Pear jar suck. How are you spelling suck? S U C K. S U C K. Right, okay, yeah. Okay. Right, I've got that one. Oh, he's got. Oh, and he's got it. <laughs> yeah. Have you got it, Pete? I think you've got it. No, I'm just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my days. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, there's only another 10 of these. I'm only joking. Oh. There's only another three. <laughs> there's another, another three. Oh, How many words is the film? What's that, sorry? 
How many words does it make to make the film? Well, that, that would give you the answer then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, just, just tell us to, how, how many words there are. That'll give me a... Oh, how many <laughs> words? There's, there's two, two words. Oh, that's better. <laughs> I'll give you the answer now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I saw I haven't got, I've got it. He's got it. Jordan's got it now, look. <laughs> He's got it. I think... <laughs> And he's fuming there because he got it right, and now me and Peter got yeah. to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, God. He's got to keep his record. <laughs> mm. I'm well, very I'm sure the... Andy's going to win tonight. I know the that. Fact... I don't know, man. That's, fact, that's, deep, that's deep, right? that's deep, right? I haven't that's got it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so we go on to question three then. So we got yeah. not, not pug, not pug. So N O T P U G, not pug. That's an easy one. Not pug. Yeah. Yeah. That the deep red still messing me up, man. I can't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even got it, you know. <laughs> oh, got it. I got it. <laughs> you can move on if you want. I haven't got it. <laughs> okay. Right, and so the, f the fourth one, so you got O, so O H, one, O N E. And then male, M A L E. So O one male, O one male. <laughs> I'm terrible at this, really. <laughs> it's the first time I've done something like this, so yeah. <laughs> it, to be fair, it is, it is hard. Like, it is, yeah, this is, this is tough. I was, I was I just testing it out. <laughs> I think I've got it. You think you've got it? <sighs> okay. Should we move on to the last one then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you got. Two deal, so that's the number two deal, yeah. D E A L, the yeah. number eight, and trays, so that's T R I Y S. So to deal, eight trays. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Over to right. Yeah, and that, that's your five on anagrams. That's that's completely five. I'm glad that's over. Yeah. Oh, so oh that was just a game. test, Pete. Pete, I'm, I, I won't do that again. That was just a test. I was just seeing how it went. It's fine. <laughs> no, I didn't realize, realize it was going to be so idea. challenging. 
<laughs> yeah, so I'm going to the last room whenever you're ready. Whenever, whenever you're ready. Okay. Are you yeah. ready to go on? Yep. Um, I am, sir. Okay. So we got um, guest the director for five. Five questions. All right. So I'm just going to name you a film. Just name a director. Simples, okay? You ready to the first one? We've got Quadrophenia. Who directed it? Yeah, uh, number two, Independence Day. Independence Day. Uh, is the name there, George? Is the name there? <laughs> no. <laughs> totally blanked on that one. So, right, we've got number three. We've got Jumanji from 1995. Jumanji. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. My movie knowledge is terrible. And then we've got um, a recent one, Fighting With My Family. Fighting With My Family. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the last one, so we got Kez. Kez. And that's Dash your five. No, no, that one. Yeah. I don't know any of them. None of them. <laughs> that's terrible. That. <laughs> to be fair, a lot of them was British films, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'll put some stupid answers on it. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, tell me when you're ready for the answers, and I'll... Uh... Yeah. yeah, might as well. I'm ready when you are. Yeah. yeah I'm ready. You ready, George? Yeah, I'm still just trying to get the anagrams, but go on. I was trying to sneak yeah. them in. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> go on, then. so what did you get for the first one? Who directed Bronx Tale? I put Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Peace. Robert ben Affleck. <laughs> yeah, George and Andy got it. Robert De Niro. Yeah. Yeah, what did you put for question two? How many days did it take David Niven to go around the world? I put 365. <laughs> what did you put, Andy? 80. What did you put, Pete? 80. 80 it was. It was 80. <laughs> around the world in 80 days. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I've said it to you, George. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> right, the question three. Who started with Paul Newman in The Sting? What did you put for that one? I guessed. I put Michael Caine. <laughs> what did you put, Pete? Robert Redford. Andy? Robert Redford. Yeah, Robert Redford. Oh, my God. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> right, question four. Jordan's got this one right, isn't you, Jordan? I what think so. <laughs> what product making scheme is Tyler Durden involved with in Fight Club? Soap. Andy? Soap. Pete? Offer soap. Soap, yeah, you all got that one. Soap. <laughs> I, I thought I was putting a stupid answer. I just guessed. <laughs> that was a good guess then. I've never seen it. I've never like, seen any of these other films either, but I'm not going to get them right, am I? <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Can you two go first on this next one? Because I'm not going to put a stupid name here. <laughs> uh, question five. Which actor starred as Brian in Life of Brian? What did you put? John Cleese. What did you put, Andy? Graham Chapman. What did you put, Jordan? Peter Cushion. Peter Cushion? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
Is it Peter something? No, nah, no, nah, it's it's Andy got it, Graham Chapman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, question, six. <laughs> question six in Hitchcock's 54 film Rear Window. Why is Jeffries confined in his apartment? I put broken leg. Broken leg. What did you put, Pete? In a wheelchair. Yeah, Pete got it. He's in a wheelchair. Yeah, All right. because of a broken leg, though. <laughs> 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 oh, well, they had that one there. <laughs> yeah. Right then, question seven. What type of dragon was Falco? I just put fire breathing. <laughs> what, Andy's got it. What did you put, Andy? Uh, he's a wish dragon. What did you put, Pete? I put Ask James. Ask <laughs> James. <laughs> Uh, Andy, you, you can get half a point for that one. He was a luck dragon. Oh, oh okay. Oh. But yeah, yeah. So, sort of the same thing, isn't it? Really, wish luck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, half a point. Yeah. Question eight: What does Ash call his gun in Army of Darkness? I don't know. So I just put Demon Slayer. <laughs> what did you put, Andy? Boomstick. Yeah, what did you put? Of course it is. <laughs> Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton, what? <laughs> Isn't yeah, there a video good. game named Boomstick or something? Oh, I honestly don't know. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it was I think it's an Evil Dead it. game called, the bo- called it Touch a Boomstick or something. Probably. There's a new one coming out next year, Evil Dead game. Yeah. Right. Qu- question nine. Yeah, it was Broomstick, that was. Question nine. What was the name of the alien invaders in The Edge of Tomorrow? You two can go first. <laughs> I'll put Jelly Babies. <laughs> I, I just thought there'd be no more school. I had no yeah. idea. I had no I, idea. I, I put Covenant. Because <laughs> of <laughs> Halo. <laughs> no, it was Mimics. Mimics. Oh, okay. No. What a terrible round for me this is. <laughs> Question ten: um, Where did Godzilla and the Wing Muto first battle battle in Godzilla twenty fourteen? I put Tokyo. What did you put, Pete? Outside McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, uh, I had a complete guess at Vegas. Uh, it was Hawaii. Hawaii. Okay. <laughs> right then, the range you most waiting for. Oh, uh, <laughs> the anagram oh, range. Oh, so, man. what did you put for the first one? That deep red. That deep red. Nothing. 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 Go on, you ready to kick yourselves? The departed. Yeah, Oh. Oh. The, the vert <laughs> is there for us. <laughs> yeah, the vert's yeah. included in it. <laughs> oh. oh, no well, way. Right, then the second one, Pears Jar Suck. What did you get for that one? I put Jurassic Park and then I think I'm wrong because there's no what, I. What did you put? Jurassic Park, there's an I in Pear, isn't there? There is an I. There's an I in Pear, so, Jordan. So- so it was Pierre instead of Pierre. Oh, it's probably my accent. That says P A I R. Okay. Yeah, I put P E A R. Sorry. Oh, so, but I put it right. yeah, I put Jurassic. Yeah. I have put Jurassic Park anyway. You'll be honest with you. Yeah, awesome. Did you all put Jurassic Park? I didn't put yeah. nothing. I can get them. Yeah. Cool. It was Jurassic Park. Well done. Um, what did you put for the third one? Not pug. Not pug. Top Gun. Top Gun. George? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, it's Top Gun. It was Top Gun. <laughs> oh. So simple when you hear it, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I told you it's all just well-known films that you've heard of. Mm-hmm. Right then, number four, Oh One Mile. Oh One Mile. 
Home Alone. Nothing. Oh. Yeah, Home Alone. No, Home Alone. <laughs> so obvious. <when> you... yeah. <laughs> and and the last one, two D or eight trays. Twenty eight days later. Yeah, well yep. done. Yeah. <laughs> well done. And the last round, guess the director, so Quadrophenia. Oliver Stone. <laughs> Just I'll took a stab Oh, it's Frank Rodham. Frank Rodham. Wouldn't have got that. Right, no. I've just put, I haven't put anything for the next four, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, in, Independence Day. Roland Emmerich. Roland yeah. Emmerich. Yeah, what well, it was, yeah. Um, Jumanji. No. David Lynch. Who did you put, sorry? <laughs> David Lynch. <laughs> David Lynch. <laughs> No, it's Joe Johnston. Joe Johnston. I never got that in a million years. No. no I just put some random directors on. <laughs> um, fight you with my family? No. I just put Dwayne Johnson because he's in it. No. It was actually Stephen Merchant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the last one, Kez. What did you put for that one? Clint Eastwood. <laughs> I think Andy's got this one. Uh, hey, got... Oh, I was going to say, it's not the guy who plays the teacher in it, is it? In, in what? In Kez? In Kez. The PE teacher. He's not the one who directed, is it? I don't think so. The one who's in Alien 3? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't, no. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> right. Yeah, he was Ken Loach, Andy. Well done. Ken Loach. Oh, cool. Thanks. Sweet. Time to top up your scores, then. Well, there are many to top up. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> Eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. Four. Seven. Seven. Oh, well done, well done, guys. And Andy's still the uh, holding the champion. Yeah, Andy's well. still the king of the quiz. He is. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Was... I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Just thinking, like I'm just humiliating <laughs> myself on camera there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, nah, it's it's all a bit of fun. All a bit of fun. Yeah, that... Cheers for that, Jim. That was brilliant. <laughs> Cheers, Jim. Anyway. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, thanks, guys. Well, as well, right. fun. Yeah. Every time a movie question comes on the chase, I get it right as well. <laughs> yeah, same here. And then when it comes to it, when you're live on here, you just can't get yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, thanks again, James. No worries, man. I really no worries. like the anagrams. They were really hard, but yeah. then when you found out the answer, really simple. Yeah. That, that was just a little tester. That was. I was just trying that one round out. <laughs> That's still great. Right, we'll get back onto the comments. Okay. Uh, the viewer Drew says, which non-superhero casting choice do you like more? Daniel Craig as Bond, Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt, or Matt Damon as Jason Bourne? That's a really good question. Uh, I would definitely go with Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt. Easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. I, I'd agree with you, yeah. Yeah. What about you, James? I like I like Daniel Craig as Bond. I don't think he's a bad Bond. I, I do like I those films. Damon, I think Matt Damon as Jason Bourne was really good as well. Because when they did yeah. the Bourne Legacy, that wasn't as, as good without Matt I mean, Damon. In. They're all good. I just think he stands out, to be honest. Especially yeah. in that, them last two Mission Impossible films, especially. Oh, man, the, the latest Mission Impossible films are amazing. I weren't yeah. that keen on the first one. But the rest Me of them are really good. Yeah, I, I didn't like the first, and then, but I liked all the others. <laughs> so. mm, that's strange. I think because the first one was quite drastically different. I was expecting something similar to what the modern ones are like, but it was more of a slower pace, weren't it? Yeah, I've watched it twice now, and I just, I just couldn't get into it either time. It was just a really strange film. Mm, it is. What about you, Andy? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree. Uh, 
controversial. I don't break down your Breakers Bond. Um, I'm one of those people who doesn't really like Casino Royale. Um, Matt Damon as Jason Bourne, really, really good, close second to me, but I have to give it to Tom Cruise because he does all, pretty much all of his own stuff as well. Um, yeah, and those, those, those last three Mission Impossible films have just gotten better and better as they each come out. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think Tom Cruise. I just got Geordie Paul on the phone. He just wants to pop on. I was about to ask you, is Geordie Paul coming on? Is it nine o'clock already? It's nearly the quarter to nine. Nearly. Yeah. Nearly. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, Time man. flies when you're having fun. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. And when working out those quiz questions, especially the anagrams. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I did make it a bit solid this week. <laughs> Simon says... When is Jason Bratt on next? Okay. That is, good, um, that is a good question. Um, the rest of the month, we've got everybody on, but at the end of the month, we've got Leon on, and I'm wondering whether to ask Jason to come on with Leon. Yeah. I think that'd be a good match. Um, we do have Paul here, and he says Ben Affleck as Batman was classed. He was a good Batman and a great Bruce Wayne, but Keaton is the man. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Keaton is, is the he man. Back as Batman. Yeah. Yeah. In the Flash movie, I think. Nice. When's that coming out, the Flash film, man? I think it's next year, I think. Wow. I hope so. Mm. Yeah. Look forward to that. <laughs> I'll yeah. see that tomorrow. Yeah. Definitely. What Isn't do you uh... think of um, Barry? Is it Barry, uh, the guy who plays Barry Banner? What, what did you think? Is it Barry Bannon? Sorry. The guy who plays the Flash in Justice League. It's oh, Miller. Ezra Miller. Yeah. But did you like him? Because I, I heard of a lot of people give him hate and I thought he was okay. The first Justice League, absolutely hated him. But the second one, really liked him. Thought yeah. it was really good in the second one because he was um, yeah. fleshed out more. Yeah, I, I liked him. I thought the guy who played Cyborg was really good. Yeah, it, he got he, he had the best story I thought in the in this new one. Yeah, I definitely thought so. I yeah. think the four hours was all right. The four hours just flew by for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Phil Four K Baker says Koala has a USA Best Buy Four K still book coming out the twenty first September. Nice. Phil just knows everything about Blu-ray releases, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you need to know something, it's always Phil or Pete. One of them will know. Yeah. Ryan says, just want to say, we might have Jason Brett on Thursday's stream. Yeah, because uh, Ryan, Ryan's <laughs> asked me to come back on his stream on Thursday night. It's ready. We had a stream on Sunday night. That was pretty good fun, weren't it, Andy? Yeah, yeah. It was good. It was good. It was good luck, yeah. Oh. I've just got to send um, Jordy Paul the link. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did actually send him the link yesterday, but it's got lost. <laughs> Paul says, I know there's a lot of them, but what's your favourite MCU film? Hmm. Um, for me, it's Iron Man, to be honest, up to now. I mean, I'm going through, I'm re-watching them at the minute. And I'm only halfway through the rewatches, but up to now it's it's Iron Man, to be honest. That, was a that might change when I get to the end. Mm. Mm. I went to Soldier, I've got that in second place. So Yeah, for me, Winter Soldier is probably my favourite. I really did like the spy element and it was quite grounded compared to the other MCU films. Yeah. What about you guys, James? Yeah, I liked um, Homecoming, to be honest. I quite re I really enjoyed Homecoming. I thought it was a great film. Yeah. I had Homecoming first, but on these rewatches, I've only ranked them, the ones I've seen. And I do yeah. think Homecoming will be near the top because I did love it the yeah. first time. I love that scene in the car where uh, he knows he knows he's Spider-Man, he's looking at him in the mirror and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hang on a minute. I'll just have to sort this out. Sorry about this. The 
link the full. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I told Boo, and when he comes on, Jordy Paul. It's <laughs> <laughs> Pete frozen. Oh, Pete's froze now. I was going. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello to everyone watching. Yeah. Our host has disappeared. Yeah, and he's back. His boy is coming back. It's Paul, come on now. <laughs> yeah. He took over the host. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Alfie. Hi. Uh, uh, my phone just went turned off for some reason. Oh, you froze again. I'm sorry about this. So we can right. we can hear you, but we just can't see you. Yes. Yeah, don't worry. I'm now sending. I'm here. Am I here? Yeah, you are now. Yeah, you're yeah. not on the yeah. sideways, like. But yeah, yeah, I know because I've got. My... Yeah, I'm going to move downstairs because seems to be having some issues up there again. Oh. Sorry about this. But yeah, uh, what's your favourite MCU film? Sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh. I'd probably have to say Infinity War and Winter Soldier. Yeah, it's gone weird again. <laughs> oh, never do a live stream live. Oh man, this is dreadful. <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> right. Let's try this. Right. It, How yeah. are we now? That's it. Better? Good. Yeah. Brilliant. I can't see no comments, so oh my days. Right. Right. Oh man. Right. The comments disappeared. Yep, the comments have all disappeared. Now we've got to go all the way back. Oh, we're here. We're here. Brilliant. Got uh, Paul's here, so I'll get him on. Mm -hmm. oh. Should be here. Hey Paul. Hey. Well, hello. hello, everybody. What happened there? Did I miss out on something? <laughs> yeah, the last five minutes have been amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my phone went all weird again. It shut itself down for some reason. It's because you're in a new house. Didn't like it. <laughs> everybody all right tonight, anyway? Everybody all right? Yeah, not too bad. All good, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Buzzing for Friday, Paul. Buzzing. <laughs> mm. Well, no Saturday. Football tonight. <laughs> I've got to say, you won't, you'll be able to. You won't be seeing it till Saturday anyway, will you? Because you're working. On that, that's what I mean. I got my dyes mixed up. I got my dyes mixed up. I know. So, so I'm ordering uh, a burger, chips, the mac and cheese burger. Uh, no, no tomorrow, tomorrow or so. any kind of salad on it, please. Yeah. Extra, extra, extra chips, and you can hold the spit. <laughs> I'd never do that. I'll never do that. Man. I was gonna say I don't really hear it, Jim, but obviously I don't think that's gonna happen. Nah. <laughs> Bro. What's this? Sophie's retro revival says James and Jules were trying to play matchmaker and said they must like pizza. <laughs> oh, it's on the stream the other night. Yeah, yeah. We was just having a joke. <laughs> the view with Drew says, who do you think is the worst Spider-Man movie villain? I think Rhino from The Amazing Spider-Man 2, although Dane DeHaan's Green Goblin is close. And Venom was bad. Yeah. Um, I actually like um, Rhino and The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I like that scene at the end. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he was only in it for like a couple of minutes at the end, weren't he? Yeah. Um, Where's oh. Spider Man? I'd say the one that doesn't really stick out in my memory is the lizard fella from Amazing Spider-Man 1. So I yeah. probably have to go with him because he's the one who's least memorable to me. Uh, probably the same as either that or Rhino because he wasn't in it that much. Mm. I think that as well. I think the Rhino... Probably. What about you, Paul? I, did, I, I don't have it. Worst one, I, I liked them all. I mean, I liked the Green Goblin, I liked uh Doc Ock, um, I liked the kind of second Green Goblin, I didn't mind probably. I'll probably say if I'm gonna to have to choose, probably Sandman from Spider Man 3 purely because I just didn't think it was, it was that good, good a CGI. And mm. but I like, I like them all, I wouldn't say there's a worst one, um. Mm. You know, you've got Tobin Bell, isn't it, who plays Venom, as Eddie Brock. And then, yeah. um, I don't mind I don't like mind any of them. Even Electro, even, the thing is with Rhino, with Paul Giamatti, is that he hardly had any time in it, really. So you can't really class him as That's having okay. any kind of input in it. Reese Evans' Lizard was all right, didn't mind him, because he was very similar to um, Doc Ock, really, wasn't he? Because he was like a close friend, Peter. And... Um, Working alongside of him, but he wanted to get his arm back, so he dabbled. Whereas Doc Ock dabbled with like getting his limbs and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't see any problems. Probably even uh, Mysterio wasn't that good because obviously at the end it was all not magic and it was all computer stuff, which kind of a letdown from the comics because obviously he's like a sorcerer or a wizard, isn't he? In the comics, mm. uh, was obviously in um. Far from home, it was more uh, like drones and everything, wasn't it? So he felt like he's a villain who, without the drone, well, he didn't really do anything, did he? he? Didn't have any superpowers as such. He was just using his noggin, really. Yeah, so you go. What about you, Andy? Um, I don't think Shocker from Homecoming had much to do. Um, mm. but. Yeah, it was like the guy from Upgrade played him and then he was like killed off like halfway through the movie and just didn't really have much to do, but yeah, um probably that. I I I just have to say though, there's a line that he says in that film and it gets me every time where he goes, I didn't know how to use this or something, but damn <laughs> <just overcut Yeah>. some. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love that part. <laughs> Carlino Nines here. Hi, guys. Just remember Hi. you guys were on. Hi, Carl. Um, I'm still in Ramsgate, and you guys are my evening entertainment. Yes, oh, Carl. Yeah. Thanks, Carl. Have you been to football tonight, Paul? Yeah, Carl, you had kind of a... Say again, sorry. No, no. Um, I just, uh... We didn't get enough players tonight. Oh, no. No, you gave me a message indoor, yesterday. Or so we need... Yeah. Yeah, we just because over the weekend we kind of use WhatsApp and say who's in. We basically, just go, I'm in, I'm in, can't make it, I'm away, whatever. And we had like three, which would have been me and two other guys. Um, yeah. yeah, so you need 10 for indoor, where you just sweat your bollocks off, or you've got a uh, minimum of six to do with the outdoor seven aside. Yeah. Um, last week we did outdoor, but before we did indoor, a lot of the guys don't really want to play indoor because it's still with the COVID. Whereas I'm like, well, I've had two jabs. If you haven't got two jabs, and that's not my problem. You've had the opportunity yeah. to get them. And all the guys I play with are all, older than me anyway, so this should have them. Um, mm. But yeah, but yeah, didn't have enough. So no football tonight. So that's why you have my appearance here. <laughs> Just couldn't find a way there, Paul, could you? <laughs> no. No, I've also heard you. Prob I've also heard Jordan. You're probably aware of this that you're going to put a 15 million pound bid in for Sean Longstaff. Oh my god! god. Isn't he terrible? Yes. Well, he started off well, but then he kind of properly dipped. He was supposed to be like the next Declan Rice, or at the same time, and then he just got injured and he's gone off the rails. So yeah, Rafa loves him though. I've uh, 
haven't re- I haven't seen that. I've just heard what after them. But... <laughs> Fifteen nice. million. There you go. See you later. Thanks. Bristol says, <laughs> "I didn't realise I once subbed to Movie Worm." He's corrected it now, so we've got a new sub, Jordan. Cheers, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> AJ Movies Place, uh, will you guys be watching What If Tomorrow? I intended to post a review for each episode used to read the comments. Oh, is that that Marvel animated thing that's on Disney Plus? Yeah. I, I don't, they, um, don't they do like different scenarios if something happened in a movie? This is what would have happened or something. I think sound, one of them sounds quite good, actually. I think one of them's like. If Peggy was Captain America or something, and something yeah. else was Iron Man, I don't know. Looks quite good. The animated it's Star Lord is going to be um, Star Lord because um, Chadwick Boseman voiced it before he passed away as well. Oh, did he? Because hmm. I thought a lot of the cast members voiced. Hmm. Yeah. I yeah it's like, isn't I, it? I, I might have read this. One Paul. No, I was just going to say, I heard somewhere that you've got to watch this with regards to everything else because it all comes together, apparently. I don't know. Could be wrong. Well, is it? I thought it was just a standalone thing myself, but... I don't know. They seem it could be. I mean, that, that, that might have been something else I was reading or something about something else. Oh, you, might be, sure. you might be right. But yeah. Might be, do, might be to do with all this big multiverse thing that's going to happen soon. Probably. Is yeah. that the Transformers still book behind you, Paul? Paul, uh, is the that the still one? Behind yes. you? Not the 4K. Yeah. That's the animated yeah. one, isn't it? So, yeah. So I just, I just oh, clocked yeah. that. Just yeah, stunning. Because oh, well, the funny if I post this on Instagram and Phil was like, Phil uh, 4K thought it was the because over in America they've already got the 4K still book out, but yeah, we well, don't get it till October. Um, but I wanted to get them both, so yeah, I put it on before. You can either watch it in wide two discs, the two discs are exactly the same, it's just that one is in widescreen and one's in your standard old television format, so it's like that. Um, yeah. but yeah, so I'm looking forward to watching it. Plus, the digital code works as well, so I've got it on my iTunes as well, so I've got uh, three different ways to watch it. Cool, nice. Sophie says, who is one actor or actress you love that you collect their films? Mine is Johnny Depp. Mm. Good question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to have a look at that. I wouldn't say I collect any actors or actresses' films, but I think I've got more with Robert De Niro in than anyone else. Yeah. I've just checked mine, and most of them are like Clint Eastwood box sets or Tom Cruise box sets, so I'm going to say them too. Mm. I don't. I, I think for me, it's more it's more director than actor and actress I collect. If I'm going to get a complete yeah. catalog of them, like Quentin's and Christopher Nolan's, uh, M Night Shyamalan, apart from two, um, that that's what I kind of Kubrick, if I can. Um, yeah. So to with Paul there on that, it's more direct as I go for it, to be honest. Yeah. 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 What about I you, think, James? Yeah, I think the same as well. It's hard to just narrow it down, really. It's just, yeah, I, I think directors, if I have to choose director, probably Shane Meadows. I do like a lot of Shane Meadows films. Obviously, mm. this is England and Dead Man's Shoes. But yeah, I, I, I can't see this? Really name. See this right here? Yeah. Right here? That's yeah. where you are, mate. You're right there. <laughs> oh, what about um, you, Randy? Oh, sorry, Jordan. No, I was just gonna say I will watch anything with Arnold Schwarzenegger in, though. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, there was a point where I was like really collecting like a lot of eighties films with Michael Keaton, like the early his early stuff, like Miss Palm and Gong Ho and Johnny Dangerously and Beetlejuice and clean and sober and Batman. Um, but yeah, other than that, oh, not really. Yeah, I like like you guys. I'm more into directors. 
Yeah, oh, um, sorry, oh, Sophie mentioned about Johnny Depp there. She mentioned a film in the stream last night. I don't know if anyone has seen it, but it sounds really interesting. Tusk, a film called Tusk, and he was in it apparently. But we're all arguing. Him. Yeah, we're all That's arguing whether he was one. in it or not. Yeah, Tusk. Mm. That's not the Kevin Smith one, is it? That's what I, think I it, was thinking. I think it is, you know. Justin I Long. I've not yeah. seen it. Yeah, the Kevin Smith oh, one. That's weird. By the way, Sophie, I hope you own Blow, because that's my favourite Johnny Depp film. If you haven't, grab that one. That's a great film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that on the premium? Blow is an with... excellent film. Yeah. I yeah, yeah, it cinema yeah. when it first came out. Excellent film. And it's a true story yeah. as well. So, so rewatchable as well. That's another one to add to the it, list. Yeah. yeah. It is on the premium it's in the collection. Premium collection yeah. I think I can remember it being on it. Um, talking to AJ Movie Place. Um, Ryan says, any guys up for a watch party tomorrow? Oh. I think I'm meant to be watching Robocop with Paul Thomas tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> I think I'll watch that. I watched Robocop recently and really liked it and I want to watch it yeah. again. Who would be up for doing one about Never Any Story? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I've still got, I've still got it. It's still, still down it. here. You still don't watch it. I do have it. Oh no. <laughs> no, I haven't. And I'll yeah, tell yeah. you the reason why. That's okay. Because I think I have to be in the mood to watch it. Yeah. Because it's not something it's not like a go to movie I would go, so it's there, and because you bought it for me, I will watch it. Yeah. But at the minute I'm going through my Korean and Asian kind of movies, so I'm into that at the minute, like watching the 800, then I watched The Swordsman, and I watched uh, I Saw the Devil last night, and then tonight oh. I'm going to watch Barking Dogs Don't Bite. Is that right? The Bong Joon Ho one, his first bite, one from Tinder. Yeah. Did you see, Paul, yeah. did you see that film so, yeah, I but... sent Jamie? Sorry, did you see that film I sent Jamie? That was, I think that was a Korean film. Tyler Two Sisters? No, but Jamie's no. on about he want because he's he's going to pre-order the the arrow depending on what it what it's about. Yeah. Um, <coughs> I but no, I haven't seen that one. But I I, I do like I, I mean majority of the arrow stuff I own is probably foreign. Yeah. Um, but whether it be digital or be in, in my collection, but Cine Asia is a nice label because I've got that um the front line one as well, which I got cheap off eBay. Um. But yeah, I'm trying to get more to world cinema, especially Korean. That's why I've got the Bong Joon Ho set. Um, yeah. There's a lot of good films out there if you accept it has subtitles and just get over that. Because a lot of people, that's like a massive yeah. wall, they don't want to do it. I, I've got a friend who I work with, he's like, is it got subtitles? I'm not interested. I don't understand that because I feel like I'm more invested in the film because I'm reading and paying way more. Yeah. Like, I pay attention to films anyway, but I feel like I'm just immersed if I'm reading the subtitles, so I don't mind them at all. It's like reading a book a bit, I suppose. Yeah. 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 I mean, I sometimes put subtitles on English ones when the kids are in bed so I can hear them, I can have it on low. And it's also kind of sometimes helps because a lot of sometimes the dialogue can be muffled and you don't hear it correctly, so at least you know what they're saying. Because how many times have we watched a film and then watched it again, the subtitles, and go, oh, that's what he said. You know, yeah. it's like lyrics in a song. You don't know till you actually read them. Especially in tennis. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't yeah, watched that, you yeah. know, since I bought it. Good movie, mate. It's just... Yeah, I'll you know, like five <laughs> times. <laughs> the sound's all over the place, so... Oh. Yeah. Edward says, apparently there is a new Super Mario Brothers movie. It's coming in 2022 with Maya Moto involved as a producer. So I've heard that. What's your thoughts on it? Yeah, it's definitely coming. It's by um, the guys who do the Minion films. Uh, what's, what's the... Illumination, is it? Illumination. Illumination, yeah. They're yeah, making yeah. it. So and it's going to be animated then. Yeah. And I think they've announced one of the cast members, and it's like an American comedian, but I don't know what his name is, but they've revealed it yesterday. Mm. Cool. Jules says Robocop. What a film. Definitely, Jules. Yes. <laughs> Jordan's all over that. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it to death. <laughs> 
I Actually, feel about Jordan. Robocop what James feels about Never Evident Story. So yeah. fair play. Fair play to you, Jordan. Did you ever get a reply back from um, the actor? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, just ignore me. <laughs> oh man, I'm never going to look this one up. Pete, anyone ever tell you that you look a bit like Rick Ashley? Oh, my you do days. know she said that. You do actually oh, know she's my. mentioned that. Oh my days! I'm uh, never going to give you up. Pete, <laughs> oh, I'll be back in one minute, Pete. Okay, Shadi. Yeah, you're okay. all right. No, nobody's ever told me that, Sophie. I suppose. <laughs> I've been rolled Tyler Ren before, but not Rick Ashley. My days. Did you have the long uh, hair before lockdown, then, Pete? Yeah, I've had long hair for years. Okay, I just didn't know whether it was oh. you just kept it because of the whole lack yeah. of hairdressers and stuff. I wish um, I had some. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I quite like it long, so I've kept it long. Uh, Richard Fair says, enough. have you seen Licence to Drive? Corey Haim and Corey Fieldman from The Lost Boys. Love that film, but another can't get on Blu-ray in this country. Never heard of it. I've heard of it. I've never seen yes, it. I've seen heard it. Of... Yeah, I've seen it. It was one of my favourites when I was younger. Yeah. Because, okay. um, I can't remember the plot, um, but I yeah. know that the girl in it called Mercedes is Heather Graham. Which is the girl that they're after, um, yeah. and they borrow his dad's car in order to try and get into her. I think, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's only a German release, and it's called something else over in Germany. Well, it's obviously, I mean, in Europe, is where you can get it from. But no, it's it's it is a it is a typical eighties where you want the girl yeah. kind of teen film. Yeah. Wow. Luke's here, and he says, hi, guys, how's this going? Just mad in the middle of your quiz. James, brilliant quiz of what I wanted, guys. Well done, Andy, again, mate. Thanks, yeah, mate. the quiz is always Thanks, fun. Yes. I'm, I'm intrigued that Andy's always won this, and obviously I've never had the opportunity to get involved. How many questions mm. did you do, James? 20. I only did 20. 20. Well, I tried something okay. new out tonight. How so many... How many... Andy... How many are in round one? Four? Uh, ten. Ten. It doesn't matter. Yeah, sure. Uh... Ask me some random, because I didn't watch the stream and I don't know, I can't cheat. Ask me Ask me one of the... Well, from tonight. Give me, give me from a question tonight. and see if I could be... Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh... Ask him the deep red one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want to have a go at doing the anagram one? Do you want to have a go at doing the anagram one? I've got any joke, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, you can have a go. <laughs> uh, whatever. I'm not writing anything down, so it's just going to be in here. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll leave that one then. Uh, okay. On. I don't think no. Okay, then. What is the name of the alien invaders in the 2014 film The Edge of Tomorrow? They're called The Hive. No. Nah. Oh, I don't know. Pass. I do. I've just watched it the other day. I forgot. <laughs> mimics. Mimics. Oh, <laughs> they have got a hive in there, haven't they? Though. What's well, sure? What's well, sure? I don't know. Okay. Did you get that? Uh, <laughs> no. I'm trying to think of something else. No. no okay. This book's getting full really fast now. This book is. Really? <laughs> yeah. I've got a backup book as well. But uh yeah. So what does Ash call his gun in Army of Darkness? Boomstick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah. Boomstick. Funny enough, as well, you've probably seen that. I just thought, because the missus was as she always does, sit down, you're right, how's your day been? Yeah. So I was like, right, I'm going to put some on Netflix. And actually, the Devil Dead was on there. I hadn't seen that before. So I put the first episode, I watched about five, ten minutes of it. Um, but, yeah. Did you see as well? Obviously, you wouldn't have seen, but Jordan would have seen. But the um, H&V are releasing in October. 
the Nebeth Oasis gig from '96 on Blu-ray and wow. DVD and CD and everything. Well, that's good. Cool. Has it been like, that, remastered and that? Has it been like cleaned up? Yeah, because because it's they're doing a limited screening at cinemas in September. Okay. The full gig. Um, and then because of that, they're obviously doing a, a release of it. So, who was it? Al Pearson from Big Paulie's group sent me a message because he knows obviously there he does all the other voices with the link. And I was like, right. So I pre-ordered the Blu-ray and I pre-ordered the CD that comes with the DVD as well. Um, okay. So yes, so there you go. In case anybody was interested. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that'll be, that, 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 that to me is like a first day purchase. It has to go get get that to go with yeah. the collection. So yeah, there you go. So if anybody looks your actors, actresses, I'd probably see Liam and Noel Gallagher. Because I've got all their back catalogue and everything. Hmm. There you go. That video anyway, you carry did on. Sorry, I just thought I mentioned that. The was great, though. <laughs> Sorry, Pete, what was that? Uh, your video of your Oasis collection was great. I enjoyed that. That was good. Yeah. Thank you. Apart from the yes, the clean <laughs> guitar. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Edward says my favourite MCU movie is Ant Man or Captain America: Civil War. Yeah, both good movies. Yeah, definitely. I actually didn't like Civil War at first, and I just rewatched it, and it just actually grew on me. I actually quite liked it. <laughs> Mm, it is a really good film. It felt a bit yeah. like an Avengers film, more than yeah. That's the man. problem. Isn't it? It's like Avengers two point five. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I still think the best MCU um, is Iron Man. Yeah, I'm with you, Paul. Yeah, it's one of the best. It kicked us started the franchise really well. Uh, Casey and says, "What I'll probably have to? Sorry, I'll, I'll probably have to leave after I say this." But in yeah. my top five, or the favourite ones, is Captain Marvel. I know everybody doesn't like it, but I really enjoyed it. There you go. Controversial. <laughs> Mic drop. Yeah, fair enough. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. What's your favourite George Hamilton movie? Oof. I've only seen one. Was... And it's cast of Wendy. I haven't even seen any. I uh, don't know. Don't know any George Hamilton movies. I'm afraid. I think this got asked my the other day, and I've yeah, can pick yeah. them, but I just can't think of any films I've seen them in. No, I can't. He's like a 50s, 60s actor. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. at him there. He's like an old guy, isn't he? Yeah, he was in I'm a Celebrity as well. He was in the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. probably where Noel from. <laughs> Not that I watch reality TV, but you know. I'm <laughs> uh, trying to think what well, we would know. We mean, um, yeah, there's not not a lot of name of the films that are sticking out that we'd know him from, like Double Dragon. Uh, oh, he was in Doc Hollywood. Doc Hollywood. Is that the Michael That's J. Fox one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, well, then I've seen He's two. In the then. Godfather Three, the Godfather Part Three, and Three, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This is yeah. this is the question that got asked the other day, yeah. I remember the Godfather Three yeah. was one of the films he'd been in. So I I, I, I've seen the Godfather Three, it's the only one I've seen him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was in Evil Can Evil. He played Evil Can Evil. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jules is still waiting for the menu, Dudley. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll send it to you later. What's well, this for Birmingham then? <laughs> yeah, mum. Right. Uh, you know, Paul, you know, Rob, he's already said he's having garlic mushrooms to start. He's already made that clear yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I've told him about that because every time he has that, he stinks when I try to kiss him and I don't like it. It's the same when he has onions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, <me. laughs> oh. Wow. Edward says what's your thoughts on The Bourne Legacy and would you recommend watching it as I have the DVD and not watched it yet it's fine it's not as good as the other Bourne films but it's better than some of the other like 
thrillers that are about, but it's nowhere near as good as the Jason Bourne franchise. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as Edward. I've got it on Blu-ray. Just haven't watched it yet. Plan to watch it soon. The Jeremy Renner one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. I'm not a massive fan of the actual Bourne five movies, isn't it? Before with um, is it no? How many movies on it? It's five. Yeah, it's five. Um, yeah, I'm not a big. I've got them, but they're not like. See, I prefer like a Jack Reacher to a, a Bourne, I guess. Mm. I don't know. What about you, James? Yeah, like you say, I've got, I've got all of them on Blu ray, I just haven't watched them. <laughs> what about you, Andy? Uh, I agree with you, Pete. I think the first three are really good, um, but yeah, they're not they're not like my favourite films. Um, the fourth one's okay. I've not seen the fifth one, but um, I I just the fifth, three. the fifth one's okay and all. It's nothing really that special, yeah. but it was great to have Matt Damon back in it. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, AJ's got the 4K pre-order for Transformers. And Sophie does own Blow. She loves it. I only watched it yep. once so far. Cool. Great film. Uh, do you know the way the, the movie, movie well the is all about... Do you know the way the movie of Blow is all about cocaine and people taking cocaine and stuff? The director actually died of cocaine overdose. How mad's that? Oh, Whoa. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I've just <laughs> drew on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Nice. It's, it's, it's not a blue Depp nose, is it? Isn't it? What was that? Say, Jones, it's not a blue nose, is it? He's drawn it? No, it's a black pen, mate. So, secret <laughs> Mark Newcastle oh, right, fan okay. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey! Oh. Sorry about me. And he was an investigator. So, it was a bad film. Never seen it, but I've heard about um, it. Luke says, has anybody here watched the Horizon Line movie on Prime Video? I watched it the other day and thought it was okay. If you guys have, what's your thoughts on it? I haven't even heard of it. Nah, not seen it. No, no. I'm going to have to pop to the toilets. Sorry, guys. I seen, I seen the trailer, um, and it was meant to come out in November last year at the cinema, I think, and then another lockdown happened so it just went to amazon prime but i did look quite good i think they're on a little plane and the driver has a heart attack so they're going to take over the plane and drive it but it's like a big thunderstorm and stuff right are you seeing it paul uh, no i'm exactly as jordan i saw the trailer looked all right thought you know what if that goes into the sky movies or something like streaming i'll watch it and it ran. It's like Amazon Prime just kind of ran. They have these films that just pop up out of nowhere, and like no. I've seen the advertising of it, like like um, Horizon Line, and I think we kind of knew Ice Road was coming, but there was another one. I was like, oh, that's on there then as well. Uh, like, um, what was it? Was that, um, the end of the world there. one. Which one's that one? Oh, well, it came out in February, Greenland or something. That just appeared. <laughs> Yeah, is that it? Yeah, yeah it's just pop up. No, whereas over Netflix, you kind of get like an email or something going, This is what's coming out and everything, but you don't get that with Prime. It just appeared. Mm. Oh, Horizon Land is, is on my never ending to watch list. Yeah. Uh, AJ says, I wouldn't tell anyone not to watch something if they are interested, but it's a bad film. Body horror. Oh, we must be talking about tusks. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the comment's gone all weird again. Uh, sorry, Pete. That's his all I'm seeing when I'm looking at you. Oh, my God. Rick Astley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call you Rick now. <laughs> Rick. Oh, my God. Uh, the View with Drew says, which movie from 2002 did you like the most? Spider-Man or The Born Identity or Chamber Secrets. I'm going to say Spider-Man. That's a fantastic film. Yeah, yeah Spider-Man. Did you all see it at the cinema when it came out? Or not? No, my, my I never. Yeah, yeah. It was one of them, weren't it? 
Loved it. Yeah, I love it. Gonna... I waited till that came out on DVD. And it came out as two disc, weren't it? It was in like a red case when it originally came out. I think yeah, it was in like a red yeah. case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was. I actually paid. I paid mine for X rental to get it from Blockbuster, so I got it early. <laughs> I think I watched it over and over and over again that many times, mind. I think because it was the first kind of proper for us kids at the time, live action comic book. And it was mm. Spider Man. Because mm. um, obviously, I think previously before that, kind of like, I know obviously there was Turtles, but I mean, there was obviously Batman in 89. And then you had like, was it 78, 79 for the original Superman? Um, yeah. And Turtles was the yeah, so Batman in 1989, Turtles in 1990. And I don't think it was really that much popular. I mean, I know Dark Man was out in the mid 90s and then possibly Blade. But I think until. Um, Spider-Man came out. That was the one that, that kind of put, I think, Marvel prop, came out prop back in 2000, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Which one did so? Yeah, in 2000 as well. Yeah. It actually yeah, felt I like you can hear those films to go somewhere when, when you're seeing that. It felt like they're being reinvented when they seen Spider-Man, to be honest. Hmm. Uh, yeah. William yeah. Defoe yeah. was brilliant. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. 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 Everybody's agreeing Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen Chamber of Secrets, so I couldn't have said that. <laughs> I'm saying, oh, Paul, you're not gonna like this question. <laughs> and you after this movie? I watched Almost Famous of 4K the other day too, and absolutely loved it. Absolutely brilliant music in it. Have you seen it, guy? If so, what's your thoughts on the movie? <laughs> oh my! This is the film he's after, <laughs> isn't it? The HMV Cine Edition. Yes. <laughs> 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 it's one of those films that I didn't think as a limited edition would sell out because you can go into like HMV now and they still got a cine edition of 300 they've still got like the cine edition of Tenet and things like that but for Almost Famous which I guess probably because it's a more obscure film than the other ones are the only reason that I want that as opposed to the normal one it's because the normal one has two discs. So you've got the bootleg or the, the bootleg is basically the director's cut on 4K and you've got the normal one on Blu-ray. So you get a two disc. But in this one, you get both the bootleg or and the theatrical on 4K and the normal one on Blu-ray. So you get three discs. And it's the only way to get both the theatrical and bootleg on 4K, which is why I'm after it. Um, but you go on eBay now, they're 80 quid. But with regards to what Luke's saying there, Almost Famous is an excellent film. Cameron Crowe did such a good... Well, it's basically based on Cameron Crowe's life when he was younger, when he was trying to write for, like, hard... Um, me, not a melody maker, I'm thinking the magazine now. Rolling Stone. Um, Rolling Stone, yeah. Yeah. Rolling Stone, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah. So if, if you guys haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend it because it's, it's a coming-of-age film, basically. It's I a 10 out of 10 for me. Absolutely 10 out of 10. My, um, my favourite scene in it is plane scene. Um, I don't know if anyone who's seen it remembers that. It's it's so good. Like, <laughs> what I one. remember is Kate Hudson dancing around topless, <laughs> which is <laughs> because I'm a perv, but that's the bit that I remember. That's why he loves that. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a scene on a plane where the, uh, all the characters just bear their souls. And it's just, it's Fantastic. It's, it's a 10 out of 10 film. Yeah, it's brilliant. Sorry. Sorry. The View with Drew says, which movie do you think is worse? Born Legacy, Quantum of Solace, or Mission Impossible 2? Oof. Right. Well, see, I like them all, but of all those, the poorest would probably be the Bond. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen Ball Legacy, but definitely Quantum of Solace is the worst out of the last two because I like Mission Impossible 2. I don't get the hate for that film whatsoever. Yeah. It's entertaining. It's good. It's good, that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, as well, with Quantum of Solace, that's the first and last ever Bond direct sequel. Yeah. 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 I think the only good thing about it, it was that it wasn't very long. It was like only about an hour and a half, wasn't it? It wasn't very long. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so I'm finished. <laughs> so I'm finished yeah. early. <laughs> what about you, James? Yeah, I think I'm the same. 
I think I'm the same. I've got. I've still got to see Born Legacy though. I'm still not seeing that one though. But... Not missing much, I don't think. No. Nah. Nah. No. I really enjoy Mission Impossible too. I went in the cinema to see that, and, and I really like it. You know, you got Tandy mm. Newton in there, you have got Dougray Scott, you've got John Woo with his birds flying everywhere. It's really good. <laughs> and that, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> right. Yep. We've got Arthur W. Burling here. Any of you watch any anime? This question is for all of you except Geordie and Jordan. I've asked you both already. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah Arthur's a good, good, uh, good guy. I speak to him on Instagram. Nice fact. Nice guy. Yeah, I, I subscribed to his channel the other day and he does some pretty good stuff. But yeah, mm. I'll watch a bit of anime, but not a lot. What about you, James? Yeah, bit bits. I, I don't mind the Studio Ghibli stuff as well. Mm. Yes, yeah, oh, and I picked up that, um, you know, over that gar- over the garden wall, is it? I picked that up last week. That... That like oh, animated yeah. one. That box yeah. set. Yeah, I've been working through that. I'm on like the third or fourth one. So yeah, it's good. What about you, Andy? Um, yeah, I've got a couple of series on Blu-ray that I've not watched yet. Uh, Wolf Rain and Cowboy Bebop, which I've not seen. I've seen a couple of films like um, Perfect Blue, um, Ninja Scroll, uh, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, mm. I'm. I'm I'm not into it massively, but I've seen the odd bit of it here and there. Yeah. I've still got that one uh, piece I picked up the other week. Oh, what, Dead Space? Yeah. Dead Space. That's that was like 50p. It. 50p. <laughs> Whoa, that's cheap. Yeah. yeah. Because Dead Space games are pretty good. Uh, Sophie's Retro Revival says, I want a TV series on Netflix yes. called White yes. House Farm about the murders. It was incredible, but so sad. Great yeah. Um You got Stephen Graham played a police officer in that as well. V- very upsetting. It's based okay. on the true story. It was, it's, yeah, it was in 1985. It was on ITV as well. It, yeah, it was on ITV. You're right. I, I watched every I episode. It. Yeah, so very upsetting. Very sad. That was on quite a few years ago, I think. No, no, last year it came out. It came out last year or the year before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the last year and a half it's been out or something like that. Yeah. But on Netflix, it's only just come on the last couple of months. Oh, it wasn't yeah. Because like, uh, yeah. I think it came out and then they did um, the one with David Tennant, which is. Uh, Des. 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 Yeah, because yeah, that came had, out um, after it. And you had that little boy blue as well. Little boy blue. Yeah, I remember yeah. that one. Yeah. So. Uh, who the heck is someone's ringing me? Wait a minute, hang on. Oh. And he's ringing that Martha. Well, you'll have to wait until he rings. Jordan, me and the missus are re watching Line of Duty again from the beginning. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> we're up to season five. Season five is the one with Stephen Graham in it. Um, yeah. Is John? We're up to the Corbett. bit where they've yeah, John Corbett. Yeah, the Well, I've seen them all, but obviously we're rewatching mm-hmm. them because then everything kind of makes sense when you get to the finale. Yeah. Adds up together a lot better. Um, so yeah, so he's already gone and they've arrested the the last, and that's as far as we've got. But yeah, yeah. I think that's how good it is. We're enjoying it, and the missus has. How, how good's the last episode of season three, by the way? <laughs> is that the one with Dot? Yeah. Well, she's just got the gun and she just watches him on the yeah. bridge. Yeah. It's all the interview I just before. How she's running down the street with this automatic weapon and nobody blinks her up. No one blinks her up. Yeah. At all. <laughs> Are they doing another series of uh, Line of Duty, or is it just finished completely now? We don't know, yeah. We don't know. But I think they will, because it's, like, the most watched. I think the final episode was, like, the highest-viewed programme ever on the BBC or something. Yeah, a lot of people always sit and watch it. But I thought the ending was a bit mixed. But then again, I've been watching... I only started watching it after Series 3. Yeah, a a lot of Series 6 is, like, 
points back to series one and two, so might have been a bit confusing. Oh, but there, characters been mentioned that I haven't seen before. Yeah. Well, it's confusing for me because I couldn't even remember. So. No, you're right. And like said, Ryan comes back in. I didn't realise he was from season one till he watched it again. Yeah. Oh, that's where he's from. And yeah. then he's also in the, the season I'm watching now. Listen, that one. But it builds you up because obviously it's in seasons and there's different stories but they're all intertwined because of this whole OCG thing going on and it gets this crescendo at the end and everyone's watching going right who's H who's it going to be who's it going to be like him really him and, and that for me let it down you expect it to be somebody else I expect it to be Carmichael and you'd be like right now we know why she's all over tend to retire and everything um but yeah, that was my biggest disappointment was to find out who H actually was. Definitely. Um, unless he's not really H, and that may be season six. I mean, seven. I don't know. Well, yeah. th- th- that's what I mean. They've sort of left a half open, haven't they? I think, anyway. It wouldn't surprise me if they brought it back for another series. Um, Bailey says, What type of movie would you like to see that hasn't been done yet? That's a good question. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Robocop vs Terminator because they had the video game about it. So, can we make a movie yeah. about that? <laughs> that <a> <laughs> yeah. A Bruce, Willis, a Bruce Willis film in the last 10 years is actually good. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's been out of crap for the past God knows how many years. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. A decent Doctor Who film? That would be quite good. What about you, James? Uh, I'm not sure what I think. Uh, what about you, Andy? I can I can think of a property that we haven't had a film for yet. From the yep, cats. I agree with cats. that. Dying yeah. for a fucking film of that. Yeah, that would be cool. The problem with Thundercats, though, is because it's part of everyone's childhood, mine included. Yep. I had a sword of omens and used to stand at the window going, oh, not because the woman yeah. was one pass and calling the hole. I mean, it was going, you know, <laughs> um, I had the light and you press it and the, and the eye of Bandera came on and everything. And it's been so, I don't want it to be made and then we're going to get a Ghostbusters 2016. Do you know what I mean? So it's going to be hype to be in this cool. movie and then it's just yeah. going to be a big pile of shit. You know, like, like Street Fighter, like Mortal Kombat, the 1995 one, where you look back now and you're like, oh, could have been so much better, you know. This Thundercats, it's like they should make a movie as well of like the mysterious cities of gold or Ulysses 31. They would be good. I mean, you know, you've got all the stuff there, even Dog Tanyan. Do they've kind of done a movie of that, but don't do an animated one, do a live action one, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see a Thundercats movie personally. I thought yeah. I think that would be good. I would, uh, but yeah. you do, like you say, you don't want another, you don't want a Masters of the Universe because you see what happened with that, and that was shite. You know, yeah, you yeah. want to have something that that's there, and you'd probably want to cut the movies because you're gonna to have to start at the beginning, how they landed on the planet, how the crash landed, how Lionel with with Jargo was it? Who's um, his ghost mentor? I can't remember. This is me showing my age now. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> only um, recently bought that, and I've not been touched sure. it yet. I've I've got my transformers. I found them all in the loft the other day. Or yeah. series one to the four. The original ones, ones, Paul. Um, yeah, yeah. I've got the original ones. Yeah, the um, I got them. I got them ages and ages and ages ago. Did have the transformers movie. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I've got like season one, season two, big box of season part three, and yeah, so they're all the original ones. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you want that, have you got that, James? Which one is that, sorry? That's no, I don't think I've got that one. Oh, the movie. Yeah, I've got the movie. All right. All right, okay. Yeah, I'll, see, I'll give it to you on Saturday. Nah, nah, I've already got it. Thanks, Paul. But yeah, Thanks so... anyway, mate. That's right. But yeah, if it doesn't catch like the Transformers, that would be good. Because maybe they came to Earth and, you know, but you've got to have like a... It's a bit like the new Mortal Kombat movie. It's a kind of an origin story, a kind of a beginning. You'll need to do that with Thundercats. You can't just have a whole episode of it you'd have to yeah. have them coming down adapting to it the planet that they're on lionel growing up becoming the leader 
Snarf being a, being an annoying twat, you know, while yeah. kitten while like, all that stuff. You'd have to have this massive. Yeah, I was quite a fan of Thundercats in the day, you know. But yeah, but yeah, Thundercats needs to be done. It's one of the biggest, I guess, eighties cartoon animated yeah. series, which has never been done, really, isn't it? Yeah. Didn't no, they remake the cartoon at like Thundercats Raw or something? Yeah, it didn't last yeah. long. And that was awful. No. <laughs> we could make a game out of Thundercats like they did with Avengers, I suppose. That could be a way forward. Mm. I don't think I've actually had a Thundercats game. Yeah, we've had a couple of Thundercats games, but they were pretty shit, I think. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The viewer Drew says, I think the worst superhero casting choice has to go to George Clooney as Batman. Mm. Andy doesn't agree. <laughs> Uh, George Clooney as Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I remember watching Catwoman and thought Halle Berry was pretty awful as Catwoman. That was a terrible film. The worst superhero casting is probably the actual cast of Batman's nipples. That's yep. probably the worst casting. My <laughs> <laughs> <Why> word. <laughs> the V with Drew says Superman 2 is the best. Uh, Spider-Man 2 is the best Spider-Man yeah. movie still. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Great film. AJ I still the first one. one. Sorry. Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, 2000 for X-Men. 2001 yeah. for Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. X-Men 2000 is very underrated. Yeah. It's my favourite X-Men movie, that one. X2 is better, says Drew. Um, we do have Evander here. Hi, Evander. Hi, Evander. 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 Boom. Yes. The man is so excited for Monday when he's meeting Big Paulie in Blue Water. I know he is. Paulie's doing this kind of meet and greet at the minute, isn't he? It was Carl. It was Jamie <laughs> the week, Carly and your us guys the weekend. He's going on tour. He's almost got like this diary of who's going to meet. Jordan's going to see you week on Saturday, so be ready, son. You don't know this. It was a surprise. I'm joking. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So. Oh. AJ says, last week, Bromley H&B still had the Cine almost famous, maybe even two or three copies of it. Okay. Oh. Right, AJ, if you're watching this, contact me, buy it, I'll give you the money, do the postage, make a deal, let's do this. <laughs> That's uh, it. The viewer Drew says, Spider-Man 2 and X2 are great for me. Spider-Man 2 is the best of the two, but X2 is still great. Yeah, both, both good films. Where are we now? The comments are weird. Luke says they have a film coming out there soon called Cinderella, and you're in it, Mr. George Paul, aka James Gordon. Only joking. Ha ha. <laughs> um, I think he means to put Geordie Paul and James Gordon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They are doing a live action Cinderella. Another one? Apparently so, yeah. Oh, man. The viewer Drew says, question Love you, everyone. Drew. He comes up with so many good questions. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the worst Mission Impossible villain? Even though I love Ghost Protocol, the villain in Ghost Protocol is extremely weak. I can't really think of any villain bar Henry Cavill. I don't. I know that. Wasn't that guy um, off the film Rush? Isn't he a villain in the last one, in number six or something? Or number five? I, I forgot know. his name. Is he... I forgot his name. The first one is Angelina Jolie's dad. The second one is Doug Ray Scott. The third one is Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. The f it's the fourth one when they're in Dubai. Yeah. The one? yeah. Yeah, where he's climbing the building. Hmm. Um, yeah, so who's the buddy in that one? Uh, I don't... This. I don't know, I can't remember. Well, as great as the films are, the villains are probably not very iconic. You can't, they don't yeah. really roll up the tongue <coughs> like the James Bond villains do. No, the first Seymour Hoffman no. one was good, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mission Impossible 3, yeah, that was a pretty good one. Yeah. You found out, Jordan? I'm just trying to find out this the bad guy in a go in in this one, Rogue Nation. Rogue Nation. 
Oh, forgot his name. Not even on the bar. I've seen all these films multiple times yet. Honestly, can't get it. I can't. It's not on the bar. I'm sure it's. It's not the guy who plays is the Jonathan bad guy. Is that the guy? No. Who? Oh. No, it's not him. It's not the it, it's not the guy who plays the bad guy in Civil War and Falcon and the Winter Soldier, is it? The one they get out of prison to help them. No. No. Yeah. Okay. The German actor. I can't remember. I can't. He's the only villain I can remember along with well, I don't want to spoil um the seven six movies one, but mm. Because there is a twist in that film. Yep. Uh, Isn't Sean that, Harris uh, the body in... Oh, yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, the, the underwhelming was Rogue Nation. But Ghost Protocol, I don't know who... Douglas Scott was in Mission Impossible no, there's, 2. There's nobody listed in the things. I'm about to go oh. through all the things. I'm going to have to find out after this stream. <laughs> He came second before oh, I get the part of Wolverine, didn't he? Sophie says she's not seen Line of Duty. I think I will have to watch it. Definitely. Yeah. It's probably one of the best things BBC's put out in a long while. Great show. Yeah. <laughs> it's not happening. Ridiculous. This is what happens when you have too many. We're organizing this show. <laughs> Jesus. That's what happens when you've got two copies of Mortal Kombat. They take up the blue room, don't they? <laughs> um, <coughs> movies with James is here. Hi, guys. Hi, James. Hi. Thanks for your time. Uh, AJ prefers Clooney over Kilmer. I don't like Val Kilmer at all in, in Batman Forever. Wow. So. Yeah, I can't really disagree. I can't really uh, argue with him. The big man's here, big Paul, boy. Here. Good evening, Hello. Hello. He's probably watching this while he's keeping his dad at the end, I would have thought. Luke is talking movies, and I've been watching Quantum Leap again over season two now. I love that show. It's my favourite TV series of all time, guys. What's your favourite TV series of all time, guys? And why do you love it so much? For me, it's Doctor Who, though I don't like it now because it's shit. But what about you guys? <laughs> well, um, um, my favourite TV show is Twenty Four. I just Jack Bauer is just the greatest yeah. character of all time <laughs> in the greatest TV show of all time. I, I just think it's so tense, and I just can't stop watching it. Like it always leaves you on a cliffhanger, and you just have to watch the next one. So, yeah. And Fargo is up there. Fargo is definitely... Oh, I'll yeah. probably have a second, to be honest. Yeah, the first series with uh, Martin Freeman, isn't it? And Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah. That was very good. I haven't yeah. seen the recent ones, because isn't Ewan McGregor in one of them? Ewan McGregor's in the third season. I, I, can't, I can't decide which one's better, season one or three, with Ewan McGregor. She, that, that was a really strong season, so... I haven't seen that one yet, so I'll have to get on to that. What about you, Paul? I do like Quantum Leap. I had the box set, but I sold it to fund getting some 4Ks. Um, so I need to get the Blu-ray. Uh, favorite TV series: The American Office. Absolutely love it. It's just a brilliant, amazing. Um, anything Ricky Gervais has done, the uh, Afterlife, um, Derek. The Office, the UK one, Extra, Derek, Derek. extras. Um, all of those, I love every single one of his TV shows. Um, mm. Going further afield, I adore Game of Thrones. It took me a while to get into it, but when I get into it, I was hooked. Um, the new Lost in Space that was on Netflix, because I used to watch the Irwin Allen 60s show. So when they got remade, uh, I binge watched that. Um, what's the other one? Um, Mind Hunter. On Netflix, I really, really love that show. It's so good. Uh, there's loads. 
Um, but I'll probably say if it's going to be one, it'll be the US office. Um, maybe Stranger Things. Or maybe Blackadder. I don't know. It's this. <laughs> yeah. So many, you, yeah, I'm going to go with the US office. Um, Batman the Animated Series for me. Favourite TV show of all time. Watched it when I was a kid and it holds up even more now, stronger as an adult. Yeah. What about you, James? Well, I'm going to give for the obvious Only Fools and Horses. Definitely. I just. I don't know. I think it's just like you follow their journey, don't you, from the start when you watch it from 1981 straight through. And there's been so many like iconic comedy moments in it, and mm. people still quote them to this day. And it just as an age, and I love it. So yeah, yeah. so fools and horses. Definitely. I don't like only fools and horses. Oh, what? But why is that for? <laughs> What's your reason? I just never got it. It's the same as no. why I, I don't like Friends. Never got into it. Um, no. I don't know. Is nobody going to say Mrs. Sorry, Friends? I'm about to come to Paul. Uh, Friends is pretty perfect for me. Like, <laughs> and I'd say that's up there. <laughs> I think it's probably a generational thing because my missus, she loves Friends. Absolutely adores it. She'll message her friends about different scenes. And, Do you remember this? And I think it came out of that point where I was at age where I'm like, well, that's popular, so I'm going to go against the mainstream. And because of that, I never watched it. And I think I might have missed it. Um, but yeah, I think it never got into it. I mean, I don't mind if she's watching it. I'll watch it. I know all the characters. I know what the crack is. I'm, I'm not blinded by friends. But yeah, I just just does nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. I mean, if I lived opposite, like, you know, when they did that show, with people go, oh, I've got the friend set and everything. Was lived off to hear me. Would not give it a second glance. Gl- yeah, wouldn't even give a second thought of going. The same with the Harry Potter thing down in London. The Warner experience doesn't even phase me. Not even bothered by any of that. But it's down individual stuff. It? I guess it's a generational thing as well. I'm just too old. I mean, I love the youngest here, and I'm the oldest. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Jamie Powell's here. Good evening, fellas. How are we Jamie? doing? Never seen Hello, the Transformers Jamie. animated movie. Up to much at the weekend. <laughs> uh. Well, Jamie, if you want it, if you're still watching this, you can have it. I'll add it to the pile. I put a thing into um, our kind of Birmingham meetup group. Got loads of blues and stuff that, that I've either upgraded or I don't want anymore. I'm just giving them, giving them away. So... People are like, I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that. Well, okay. Right. Not all kids, mate. <laughs> no getting any there. <laughs> oh, the comments gone all weird again. No, no. Is there much comments no, left, please? Is the there... not many? I don't think. I think a lot of okay, people. Okay, because I'm, I'm going to head off in a minute, mate. Because it's like nearly um, ten o'clock. AJ said he's going to take a look for the film. You Come on, for. very much. If anybody else is watching this. Please find almost the Famous Cine Edition and contact me, care of that Geordie bastard of YouTube, and then get in touch. <laughs> Do you know what, mate? I bet you find that in Birmingham on Saturday. I bet you find it. In the I wouldn't be too surprised. Yeah. I'd like to. Um, it's nice to kind of go there and have something to look for. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm not bothered. It's just about meeting everybody at the end of the day. I'm just afraid That's I'm just gutted that uh, Everton are, are playing at home. So Jordan's um, at home. Um, I've, I'm going to see all my mates that I haven't seen for 18 months. So it's kind of one of them for me. You know. Yeah. Oh, no, I totally oh, get no, it. I'll come the next one, definitely. Cool. Cool. So if he says, uh, I'll just talk him through. Uh, AJ says, message me on one of my vids. I'll pop there tomorrow after what if. Okay. Jules says, no, no, guys. Thanks so much for having me on. Right, Jules. See you on Saturday, Dudley and Paul. Yeah, see you Saturday, mate. Yep, you shall see, see me. See you, Jules. It's going to be like one of those uh, you know, day trips for people who are in like a care home. Walking down the middle of Birmingham, the Oslo, won't they? With, with me, with my missus and Rob's missus walking as like our carers. Oh, look, look, there's a blue right place. Let's go in there. No, stay away from that. No, Paul, what we've all talked about, that'll be what it's about all weekend. 
Yeah. Uh, James says, slightly je jealous of your Birmingham trip. I need to connect more into the community. Hmm. Bailey said, would you prefer to be an actor or a director? <laughs> That's a good question. Mm. He'll get paid more. Ooh. Yeah, whichever gets paid more. That's what I was yeah. going to say. If I was yeah. good at it, I'd say a director, but I know it's very hard. So it depends. If I had the skills to be a director, I'd love to be one. But I know it takes a lot to be one, though. Yeah, I'm the same. Some people, some people are actors because the, the way they look, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it helped me with Gavin and Stacey. To be honest, yeah. plus I wrote it, so and I directed some of it. So, yeah, <laughs> right. No, I, I can't. I can't cry on cue that i find that the hardest thing you can watch like like i watched i saw the devil last night and one of the actors at the end and, and he's like talking and you can see tears i'm like how do you manage to do that how can you do that you know that's the bit i yeah. can't get no but yeah what about you james have you all seen by the way i saw the devil yeah it's no, on my list no i've not seen it for <coughs> is it good it's I've not, uh, not seen it. This one. Nah, I've not seen yeah, it. Yeah, I've seen it about, but I haven't seen it now. No, I've been told many too. Very. There you go, you see? Yeah. There you go, you see? Me and Andy. Got good choice. Very, <laughs> very good. And it's on for two and a half hours as well. <coughs> Another one to add to the list. This is <laughs> a bit of hell I didn't expect to do. Because <laughs> when the guy goes through his own shit in the toilet, I was like, oh, oh. that's nice. What? Lovely. So, oh, man. Uh, Edward said something about Kurt Hendricks is the guy we're thinking of. Nice. Right. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible, yeah. Uh, Liam, DVD and Games Collector. Hello. Hello, Liam. Hello. Thanks for joining. Hello. Talk to me earlier. Uh, Paulie said the uh, villain... And he died in 2017. Wow. Didn't know that. Um, I can't even remember him. Favourite TV, American Office or Red Dwarf? <coughs> <Come on. coughs> Some comments. Uh, anyone who doesn't like OFAH is basically an alien from another planet. Just a little <laughs> easier to get there and kick E.T.'s ass. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just agree. don't like really horses. I just don't think. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Richard said Quantum Leap is my favourite show not paying £90 for it on Blu-ray fortunately he has the DVDs what's the most expensive you paid for a film or TV series and for what please Thanks. so what's the most expensive Blu-ray or DVD you've got based on um... a TV series My Lord of the Rings, Steel Books. Mm. I think they were TV like series I haven't paid a lot more. Each. No, what's again? Were they ninety quid each? Uh, possibly. A bit more. A bit more. Oh, whoa. whoa. Huh. Well, ninety nine, ninety nine, but I got ten percent off from the Warner store. So ah, <laughs> ninety, yeah. Oh. Anyone ordering that Friday the That's 13th probably... steel book for 80 quid, by the way, and you don't even get all the movies in it? <laughs> what? No. I know, I know Avanda has, and I know oh. it's sold out as well. Can you believe that? I, I, I just don't see the point. Like, when you, I don't know. It's a nice steel book, but it's overpriced, I think. Hmm. Definitely, if yeah. you don't get all the I've got like the Amory case, and it was like 20 quid I got it for. Yeah. Why don't they just put bloody Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X in it? They've done it in America. Why can't they put it now? <laughs> Why? Yeah. Chuck and Freddy versus Jason as well, just for the shits and giggles. Yeah. 
<laughs> and the remakes in the in the US one anyway. <laughs> It's, it's, what it's, about you, James? Silly. Yeah, man. I'm, well, I'm a bit of a cheapskate. I'll be honest. I'm a cheapskate. I wait for stuff to just come cheap anyway and get it. But um, the most expensive thing I've ever bought is probably going to be a laugh to you. But when I got a short circuit set like 25, that's the most expensive thing I've got. So yeah, I just I wait for stuff to that. come cheap. Well, I'm gonna pick that up in Germany. Yeah, it's lovely. It's very nice. What about you, Andy? Um. I think the most expensive thing I, I bought was I paid 30 quid for a DVD. Um, it was a movie called Wait Till Dark with um, Audrey Hepburn and Alan Arkin. Um, it's a great film, but I'm sure it's probably got a Blu-ray release now and it's probably a lot cheaper. But yeah. yeah. Uh, for me... I'll probably say a Doctor Who box set. I think I paid about 40 or 50 quid for one back in the day. <laughs> Meg's I think the problem is, though, with going to prices, sorry, going back, yeah. is that because everything yeah. comes out with special edition now, they know that if they put mm-hmm. a price here and say it's limited, people will snap their hands off for it. No. You know, like me, my Battle Royale my Battle Royale box set. Um, the 4K you know, one from Amazon. The, uh, the, yeah, and then the, the Indiana Jones. 4K and then the Back the Future Steel book collection, you know, they put limited, put the words limited in edition on there. It'll you'll have to pay a lot. I mean, most I pay for one single film is thirty quid for come and see the Criterion one, which I still haven't finished watching. Man, uh, Megs is here. She says we're hope you're doing well. Hey, Megs. Hi, Meg. Yeah, we'll see Meg. See Megs on Saturday. Oh, is Megs coming on Saturday as well? You know, seen James Drill. Yeah, to the meal as well. On the no, not to the meal. Not to the no, meal. No, no, no. Just for um, no. Just for the day. And Tony's going to be there as well. Oh, I'm gutted. I wanted to meet Tony as well. What horror and Todge? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. uh, Luke, he's off to bed now. Been brilliant watching you tonight. Uh, rest of your night, Simon. Thanks, Luke. We're not Cheers, too Luke. far from the comments now, so... Yeah. Uh, Jamie says, So relieved my Night of the Living Dead 1990 remake still, but arrived okay. It's amazing. Came in a flimsy card envelope, though. Oh, I hate when that happens. Uh... Um, yeah. William Defoe was great in Spider-Man. Uh, Paulie says, My most expensive is the Sons of Anarchy collector's set with the discs house in a replica of the club table. I think I've seen that in one of his collection videos. It's quite good. Yeah. Nice. Um, I would like to get that yeah, Game of Thrones steelbook set. That would be nice. Yeah, that Game of Thrones one. How much is that one then? 200 or quid? Yeah, and the rest probably. Probably, yeah. Um, we it's are like the American the... Office. That came... well, just, just the, the American Office came out on Blu-ray a couple of weeks ago. And for season <laughs> 9, is a hundred hundred and twenty quid on Blu-ray. Hundred and twenty quid. Yeah, I know. You can watch them all on Prime now or Netflix or whatever it is for your monthly subscription. I've got them all on yeah. the DVD up there. Hundred and twenty quid. Prices. A lot of money. I know. Stupid. It is. But yeah, we're finally at the end of the comments. Do you want to finish now, guys? Then. Yeah, if you don't mind, mate, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, that's gonna... totally fine. Cause my dad's still got, right, my man. dad's got to go in the morning. So anyway, yeah. thanks everybody for watching the stream. Um, it's been a blast tonight. We've had Jules on, we've had Movie yeah. Worm on, and we've had Late yes. Arrival with Magpie Movies. So thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. I'll be back again with James and Andy next week. Same yes. time, same place. But with Peter Blu-ray, Bullet Brit, and Ryan from Beard House Movies. Until next time, everybody. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.